Chapter 3481 Scram. Over ten immortal kings had their heads cut off at the same time. As their heads flew, the fires of their souls were extinguished. All of them were dead. Every one was stunned, staring at Long Chen in horror. Long Chen actually dared to kill the people of the Soaring Dragon Company while on their ship. Furthermore, he actually possessed the power to kill over ten immortal kings at once. They were completely shocked. In fact, people didn't even see what weapon he had used. That was because the saber on his back had not moved at all. In that instant, people finally realized that this black-robed man was an extraordinarily terrifying existence. However, why was such a terrifying existence lowering themselves to squeeze in with the rest of them here? The bald man that Long Chen had previously slapped was now covered in cold sweat. Fortunately, he had had a bad feeling and been smart back then, enduring that slap without retaliation. Otherwise, he would have been a corpse as well. Long Chen kicked those corpses into the sea and then extended his hand. That unconscious man seemed to fly toward Long Chen as if he had a rope attached to him. Long Chen caught his throat. His arm was forcibly torn off by Long Chen just like that, and the sharp pain instantly woke him up. He screamed like a pig being slaughtered. Little fellow, you dared to con boss Long San out of his money. You must be tired of living. Long Chen gazed sinisterly at the man whose face was already contorted with pain. You're setting yourself against our soaring dragon company. You will die a miserable death, roared that man. Following this, his other arm was ripped off as well. The powerful physical body of an immortal king was as weak as paper in front of Long Chen. Ah, uh, that man screamed again, and his scream stabbed people's ears. Stop. Suddenly, a shout rang out, and a new group of people came, led by an imposing elder. The next moment, a terrifying pressure crashed down and instantly made everyone kneel. A world king! The disturbance here finally disturbed the real experts on the ship. However, when Long Chen looked at them, he merely spat out a single word. Scram! This one word caused countless eyes to almost pop out of their sockets. Just who was this youngster? Who are you? Seeing how tyrannical Long Chen was, that elder's heart thudded. Although Long Chen hadn't released his aura, his gaze was as sharp as a blade, giving even this elder a sense of danger. A little half-step world king, you aren't qualified to speak to me. Scram, said Long Chen. Long Chen had killed an unknown number of half-step world kings, so such a figure could not even enter his eyes. Now that his fury was released, he couldn't be bothered to even pay attention to this elder. Seventh uncle, save me, shouted Long Chen's captive. Suddenly, his throat tightened and he could no longer make any sound. Courting death, that half-step world king was enraged. With a flash... He appeared in front of Long Chen and unleashed a palm. Runes flowed into space, freezing it. Everyone instantly became immobile. This was the pressure of a world king. Ooh. After that, astral winds blew back the surrounding people, and startled cries rang out. Fortunately, those astral winds weren't very powerful, or the people would have been blasted to death. When they looked back at Long Chen, they saw blood mist. They were horrified, thinking that Long Chen had been killed. However, they quickly saw Long Chen's figure through the blood mist. He was uninjured and was still in his slapping posture. As for the half-step world king, half his body was gone. Blood soaked his robes as he stared at Long Chen in shock and horror. If I wasn't worried about these people's safety, you would already be a dead person. Shouldn't you scram now? said Long Chen coldly. An ordinary half-step world king dared to attack him. If he wasn't worried about the innocent people around him, Long Chen would be able to kill a mass of such figures with one slap. Friend, has my soaring dragon company let you down in some way? 
Suddenly a new group of people appeared. These were all elders, and the three leaders were actually so old that their faces looked like tree bark. When they appeared, everyone's heart shook. Real world kings. Previously, they had misjudged that half-step world king to be a world king. But now that these three had appeared, they understood what was the pressure of a true world king. Three genuine world kings appeared at once, with six half-step world kings behind them. Adding on the one fighting Long Chen right now, there were seven of them. There were actually so many experts on this ship. It could be seen just how terrifying the power of the Soaring Dragon Company was. What do you think? Long Chen tossed the original offender toward them. The latter had lost both his arms and simply lay there like a frog that had been stepped on. He hacked up blood, coughing and barely breathing. This man wouldn't survive. Long Chen had crushed his danshan, and no one could save him. Those elders' expressions sank. Long Chen wasn't giving them the slightest face. This was a slap in the face of the Soaring Dragon Company. Long Chen didn't show the slightest fear even against these three world kings. They were nothing more than ordinary world kings, and they were so old that their Kai had started to regress. They weren't much of a threat to him. Kai, he what happened here? The leader looked at the elder whose body had been half destroyed. It, it might be due to some misunderstandings between him and Kai Song said that half step world king, his expression changing. Misunderstandings? I bought a ticket for the middle level, but it was turned into the low level while you tried to extort me. How despicable. Is this how your soaring dragon company conducts itself? Sneered Long Chen. Is this true? Demanded that elder. Eh? I don't know. It was all done by Kai Song, cried Kai He. Suddenly, Kai Song actually spoke. Perhaps this was the final light of the setting sun, but he said, Seventh uncle, in all honesty. The money I made all went to bang. Kai He furiously crushed Kai Song's stomach, instantly ending his life. This bastard is too greedy. He actually wants to push the blame onto others. Long Chen sneered. He didn't say anything and just looked at their leader. That elder apologetically cupped his fists toward Long Chen. We've made Sir laugh at us. My soaring dragon company has produced an ingrate. This old man will tidy our gate. Hearing this, Kai, he was shocked. Before he could react, that elder slapped his head. As a result, Kai, he's body quivered and then collapsed on the ground, the fire of his soul extinguished. Everyone was deathly silent and only stared in shock. A half-step world king was put to death just like that. Chapter 3482 Most of the people on this ship had never even seen a half-step world king before. A figure on that level was a supreme existence to them. However, such a figure had been executed right in front of them. Even having personally witnessed it, they didn't dare to believe their eyes. This old man will take responsibility for this ingrate appearing in this company. I apologize to everyone. The elder actually bowed toward everyone, frightening everyone into returning the bow. The elder continued, Old timers like us are too lazy. They didn't discipline the children enough, resulting in someone damaging the reputation of the Soaring Dragon Company. This old man will take responsibility. Please give me a few days, and I will investigate this matter from start to end. I will definitely give everyone a just explanation. What does Sir think about that? The last question was toward Long Chen. Long Chen indifferently said, I don't care. The person who offended me, I already kill. As for the rest, it means nothing to me. As long as I can peacefully reach the violet flame heaven, I can treat it as if nothing happened. The elder nodded and left with the others. Once those people were gone, everyone stared at Long Chen reverently. They hadn't expected there to be such a terrifying existence hiding amongst them. 
even world kings were intimidated by him. Most importantly, he was only in the Divine Lord realm. How did he possess such terrifying power? That probably exceeded the scope of simply being called a genius, no? Seeing that even world kings didn't dare to push Long Chen, Bai Fang was delighted. This time, he really had found a reliable backer. During the next few days, the Soaring Dragon Company sent people to return the Immortal King crystals that they had paid. At the same time, they activated the formation to expand the space on the low level. They now had a hundred times the space. In order to pressure everyone, that Immortal King scammer had compressed the space here. That way, those that couldn't endure living like this would pay more Immortal King crystals for a middle-level room. All that money entered the scammer's pocket. All the money that this person conned out of people was returned. Not only that, but due to the increased space, it was possible to take out beds and tents so that everyone could rest. In order to repay everyone, they also activated the Grand Spirit Gathering Formation so that everyone could cultivate. Compared to their previous environment, it was like hell had become heaven. People grew increasingly excited and repeatedly thanked Long Chen. They even gave Long Chen the greatest area for him to rest. Long Chen didn't reject them. In any case, there was plenty of space. He then took out a tent for himself, by Fang and by Rui. Although he had scared off the other side, he still warned the two of them not to leave his sight. At the very least, they couldn't leave the low level. In any case, it would be best to avoid any accidents. Long Chen didn't trust the Soaring Dragon Company. After all, not every company was like the Huayan Trading Company. They at least had a bottom line. The only reason that the Soaring Dragon Company had conceded this time was because they saw that Long Chen wasn't easy to provoke. That was why they were willing to pay the price of killing a half-step world king to placate his anger. Long Chen's guess was that this group was waiting until they reached the violet flame heaven. They would probably have a heaven-compassing trap set up there for Long Chen, but he wasn't afraid. The next few days passed very calmly. The materials for the violet tower pills were all used up, so Long Chen could only refine Divine Lord pills. The Divine Lord realm referred to four peaks merging into one turning you into the lord of the land between the heavens. Meanwhile, the four peaks merging into one referred to four kinds of power that were pushed to the limit and then twisted into one solid rope. They could no longer be split again. After that, they would support each other for eternity. Once all your power merged together, you would have the power to lord over the land. It could be said, that the Divine Lord realm was a milestone realm in the immortal world. Only those who had set foot into the Divine Lord realm were qualified to roam the immortal world. At the same time, this Divine Lord realm was a bit similar to the mortal world's bone-forging realm in the sense that the amount of medicinal pills used in this realm was appalling. When the four peaks merged and twisted together, their power grew crazily. It was just like a person might only have limited power with one finger, but when all five fingers worked together to form a fist, they could unleash even greater power. Other people had four kinds of power merging together within, but Long Chen had countless energies inside him. Hence, Long Chen required many times more pills than normal cultivators. It could only be described as an ocean's worth. Fortunately, there were several pill formulas for the Divine Lord pill, and three of them were refined with only spiritual plants. As Long Chen had long since planted those ingredients in large numbers, it wasn't difficult for him to start refining this pill. However, after advancing to the Divine Lord realm, he had yet to fully accustom himself to his newfound power. If he didn't first train his physical body and only pursued higher realms, it would cause his foundation to grow unsteady. Thus, even after all this time, Long Chen hadn't even reached the first heaven stage. We are not alone, come find us on Google.
he found that his essence, chi, spirit, muscles, bones, blood, and flesh were all slowly growing. He had to wait until they were still before he could consume Divine Lord pills. However, while he couldn't consume the pills, he could first refine them. Thus, the dim and moon furnace and the moon and star refining furnace were working day and night. Long Chen himself didn't need to do anything. Occasionally, he would chat a bit with Bai Feng and Bai Rui, answering their questions about cultivation. As a result, the entire ship's people came to listen to him. Long Chen was a heaven master of the academy. Thus, any areas that these people didn't understand, he could easily answer. His profound learning made others prostrate themselves before him. They finally understood why Long Chen could be so terrifying at such a young age. Occasionally, he would discuss the Tao with everyone, but the majority of his time, he liked to sit on the deck and listen to the wind blowing, watch the sun rise and the sun set, watch as the river of stars flows above him. The starry sky in particular drew him in. He felt hidden within the darkness. Others felt fear of the dark. But for some reason, Long Chen was starting to like the feeling of being in the dark. The ship calmly traveled for a month. On this night, heaven-shaking roars rang out and huge ripples appeared on the sea. The ship was actually thrown into the air. As a result, the people on the ship cried out in shock. In the night sky, they saw countless lantern-like eyes surrounding the boat from all directions. What is that? cried Bai Fang in terror. Deep sea fiend devils. As soon as these monsters appeared, Long Chen sensed their auras. It was a very familiar feeling. That immortal king Skamar had said that there was a section of the devil sea to cross at the center. It seemed that they had reached that point. After they crossed the devil sea, they would officially enter the realm of the violet flame heaven. Suddenly, the flying boat quivered. Countless giant black things crawled up the ship, terrifying people. Chapter 3483 Long Chin stared at the ferocious sea demons and found that these sea demons had some differences compared to the sea demons he had encountered before. Within the same realm, they were definitely stronger than the sea demons he had encountered in the Seventh Branch Academy. They had runes flickering over their bodies and were capable of unleashing various divine abilities. The sea demons back then mostly used their bodies to fight, but these sea demons could use special attacks. Water arrows and divine light mixed, whistling toward the boat. Their power could not be underestimated. Furthermore, the runes on the sea demons' bodies would flash, growing dark and then bright, which surprised Long Chen. Support us at Navaloon, calm they are capable of absorbing the energy of heaven and earth to fight. It had to be known that the sea demons he had encountered would need to go back to the deep sea to replenish their energy once they had used up the energy in their bodies. However, these sea demons actually knew how to absorb the energy of heaven and earth. That was somewhat similar to human cultivators. It seemed that the sea demons in different domains had different cultivation styles. Within the boat, everyone was hiding in fear. Only Long Chen was standing at the front, staring calmly at those sea demons. When they got closer, they unleashed huge waves as they charged at the boat. Their gazes were cold and emotionless. They were eyeing the people on the boat like sharks that had smelled blood. Many sea demons ate humans, not due to the little bit of flesh on their bodies. It was for their essence, kai, and spirits. If demonic cores were treasures to the human race, then the human race's people were like spirit pills to demonic beasts. Consuming humans would bring great benefits to them. The stronger the person that they consumed, the more beneficial it was. The experts could not see the end of these sea demons within the dark night. In the sky, in the water, all they saw were sea demons. They roared as they charged at the boat. Boom! Countless runes lit up on the boat, 
making it blaze as brightly as the sun. It illuminated the night sky. In that instant, everyone despaired, as the light revealed sea demons as far as the eye could see. The entire space around them was packed. Brazen sea demons, you dare to block the boat of my soaring dragon company. Be slaughtered. An ancient voice snorted coldly. The boat shuddered, and countless rays of sword light shot out, piercing through the sea demons. Following that, brown runes appeared on their bodies. It was like they were covered in dust. After being pierced, those sea demons were quickly killed. Earth subdues water. The Soaring Dragon Company has plenty of experience against them. Long Chen didn't have deep knowledge of formations, but he could see that the boat's attacks contained earth element runes. As for the sea demons, 99% had water attributes. So, with the elemental suppression, these runes were no different than poison to them. After that, the slain demonic beasts' cores were affected by some kind of power and flew out of the corpses, landing within the boat. This boat actually had a hunting ability. Other than gathering fees for carrying people, they could also conveniently do some hunting, making more money. Long Chen saw that while these sea demons were numerous, there were no true experts amongst them. A few of the strongest ones were only half-step world kings. They couldn't threaten the boat. At this point in time, immortal king corpses were no longer very useful to Long Chen. His primal chaos space was already packed with demonic beast corpses of this level or more. That was the result of the last battle. The majority were half-step world king existences. Just half a month ago, the Wood Foundation Divine Trees had reached their limit. As for the Devil Eye Water Lilies, he was raising ten thousand of them, and they had all reached the third tier. Not only did they give him the seeds that he needed, but their life energy also couldn't be underestimated. These ten thousand Devil Eye Water Lilies gave him just as much life energy as half of the Wood Foundation Divine Trees. Long Chen had a stockpile of corpses, just in case he ended up exhausting a huge amount of life energy in battle. Then these corpses could save his life. Long Chen was originally hoping to gather some corpses when the sea demons appeared. After all, the boat was discarding the corpses after taking the demonic course. However, these sea demons were too low level. They were useless to the current Long Chen. After advancing to the Divine Lord realm, the primal chaos space had once more grown, and so had his appetite. The life energy of an immortal king corpse was nothing to him now. Thus, Long Chen wasn't interested in these corpses. Seeing that the Soaring Dragon Company's people were very calm despite the barrage of sea demons, everyone gradually relaxed. They came forward and also began to examine the sea demons. After all, this was the Devil Sea, and the sea demons here possessed a fierce Devil Kai. Just getting close to them could count as tempering their wills. Now, the deck was packed with people. Long Chen had been watching for a while and didn't see any powerful sea demons appear. Feeling bored, he retreated to rest. On the other hand, Bai Feng and Bai Rui knew that this was a rare opportunity, so they continued to closely examine the sea demons on the deck. Long Chen was originally going to tell them to stay beside him, but after thinking about it, it wasn't as if he could look after them for a lifetime. They also needed to get stronger. The flying boat continued moving and killing for three days. The killing was done entirely by the boat's formation. They forcibly slaughtered a path through the sea demons. Although it cost a great deal, the gains were immense as well. Long Chen estimated that the Soaring Dragon Company had made an astonishing sum in these three days. Furthermore, they were businessmen and they knew how to use money properly. They would turn this money into even more money. On the third day, Long Chen noticed that Bai Fang's expression was strange. He asked, what is it? Nothing. I just feel a bit lost. 
these sea demons are already so terrifying once we reach the violet flame heaven the competition will probably be even fiercer than before bai feng forced out a slight smile with a complicated expression there's no need to be so pessimistic there are good people and bad people the important thing is how to differentiate them once we get to the violet flame heaven i'll see if i can use some connections to get you a place to rest said long chen with a smile long chen was planning on leaving this brother and sister to the huayan trading company both of them were kind-hearted and he trusted that the huayan trading company wouldn't reject them bai fang hastily thanked him however long chen still felt like there was something strange in bai fang's gaze but he didn't ask three days later the water became pitch black most importantly it was no longer still long chen could feel it slowly moving as if there was a black pond flowing within the sea separating two worlds suddenly long chen felt a sense of danger he hastily walked out of the hold of the boat and concentrated his gaze he then saw a shocking sight far in the distance there was a giant whirlpool that was like a gaping maw devouring the world this giant boat was as tiny as a speck of sand compared to it upon seeing that giant whirlpool long chen felt a chill an intense sensation of danger welled up within him long chen was about to warn the soaring dragon company's people about that whirlpool when he suddenly saw a pair of eyes staring at him that was the elder of the boat he currently had a sinister smile on his face not good long chen was startled suddenly the middle and low levels runes lit up long chen was involuntarily transported out furthermore the direction he was transported out to was the heart of that whirlpool chapter three thousand four hundred eighty four the instant long chen was sent out he saw bai fang and bai rui at some point they had appeared beside that elder at that moment long chen felt a sharp pain inside his first thought was that they had sold him out however he quickly noticed that he was wrong their shocked expressions showed that they had no idea what was going on boom the center of the whirlpool had a terrifying force inside of it anyone who was sucked inside would be instantly crushed hence long chen didn't hesitate he slashed his saber and space exploded he interrupted his spatial transportation midway but the other experts were instantly sent to the core of the whirlpool they were horrified but they couldn't even scream that was because they couldn't even move a muscle following that an invisible power tore apart their bodies they were sucked inside silently as if some invisible mouth simply devoured them there were millions of cultivators in the low and middle levels other than long chen they were all gone now as for where long chen had ended up he was not too far from the core of the whirlpool it had a terrifying suction force that was dragging him toward it what are you doing didn't you say that if i gave you the treasure you would let off big brother long chen how can the grand soaring dragon company lie to and cheat people bai fang roared with outrage the elder clapped him on the back of his head instantly knocking him unconscious seeing this bai rui screamed and supported her big brother only to be kicked and lose consciousness as well long chen instantly understood it was no wonder that he had felt bai fang's expression to be a bit odd so he had given his treasure to the soaring dragon company bai fang had been deceived soaring dragon company you are courting death long chen clenched his teeth so hard that they creaked this soaring dragon company was absolutely despicable long chen resisted the powerful suction force and began to walk out truly amazing even the fiend devil i that a divine venerate would be somewhat afraid of his being resisted by you you truly have some ability however you shouldn't have provoked my soaring dragon company die in peace in your next life remember to pay attention to who you can offend and who you can't sneered the elder after that 
the ship lit up and a giant ray of divine light shot toward long chen the immense force caused the void to rumble and unleashed huge waves on the sea both long chen was enraged and unleashed split the heavens blasting apart that attack but due to the force he was knocked back several steps in just that short distance the suction force grew even more terrifying amazing you can even block such an attack even i cannot do such a thing but you are able to do so at such a young age it seems that my decision was correct if we were to fight you directly we wouldn't be a match for you such a shame in the end you will still die the elder shook his head and waved his hand once more the ship attacked again Boot. long chan was forced back once more his kai flipping inside of him the most enraging thing was that every step back he took caused the suction force to crazily grow before this he was capable of walking out of it but now it was difficult to even keep himself steady made brother long chen we've let you down if there is another life we promise we will repay your favor they can't my buy family's priceless treasure out but they don't know how to activate it so it's useless for them now i will transmit the activation method to you you must help avenge us at some point bai fang had awoken holding his little sister blue flames then wrapped around his body his expression was determined don't long chan was horrified bai fang was actually going to transform into the dao together with his little sister he had ignited his and bai rui's spiritual flames this signified that not even a god could save him stop the elder also cried out and reached toward them but the two of them instantly turned to dust following that some information appeared in long chen's mind bai fang had used his and his sister's spiritual flames to transmit information to long chen they vanished from this world due to this when this information entered his mind he learned that when the ship was attacked by the sea demons the elder stealthily told bai fang that for them to kill long chen was as easy as turning a hand they only wanted bai fang's treasure moreover bai fang was truly too pure if it was his own life perhaps he wouldn't even care about this threat but thinking of how such a heroic figure like long chen would be killed because of him he felt like even ten thousand deaths wouldn't make up for his sin Navaloon, calm thus he agreed giving the treasure to the elder in exchange for letting off long chen as well as the two of them however he hadn't expected that just after he gave them the treasure the soaring dragon company would renege on their deal in that instant all of bai fang's hopes turned to dust he was nothing more than a tiny figure he thought that an existence as grand as the soaring dragon company would definitely keep their promises but he was once more made a fool out of by reality he knew that when the soaring dragon company realized they couldn't activate that treasure they would definitely torture the two of them then they would be living a life worse than death with his hope extinguished the dejected bai fang directly killed himself along with his little sister leaving this world full of regrets this world that had let them feel the warmth but also extreme coldness soaring dragon company you butchers long chen raised his head and roared as his killing intent exploded he was like a bloodthirsty devil king go kill yourself the elder was also enraged and activated the formation repeatedly sending one attack after another at long chen despite going all out long chen was still sucked into the whirlpool seeing that long chen was gone the elder darkly gave orders he hadn't expected bai fang to actually have a backup now that he was dead this priceless treasure couldn't be activated they would have to think of something the ship slowly left banishing within the night as for the giant whirlpool it continued to spin just as it had for all this time long chen was sucked into the whirlpool now his fury was blazing 
He resisted the whirlpool with all his power, but it was too strong. His body creaked. He was actually in danger of being crushed. This whirlpool seemed to be the spot where two worlds were clashing. It could crush anything, and Long Chen was left bloody. Soaring Dragon Company, just wait for me to get out of here. I'll slaughter all of you, roared Long Chen. Just then, countless tentacles stretched out of the whirlpool. However, just as they were about to get close to Long Chen, a startled cry rang out. The ghost sovereign's mark. What a pity. This top grade flesh and blood can only be looked at but not eaten. Just as Long Chen thought that he was about to die, a force sent him flying out of the whirlpool. Once he was out, he just happened to see the last light of the ship. Without thinking about it, he flew off in that direction. A quick look at Na the Loon Kam will leave you more fulfilled. Fuck, boss Long San will kill all of you. Long Chen clenched his teeth his eyes blazing with killing intent. Chapter 3485 Long Chen chased down the ship with all his rage. However, the flow of space was chaotic here, and so were the laws of the world. Because of these, Long Chen's speed was affected. He could only watch as the ship flowed further and further away until it vanished. Long Chen clenched his teeth furiously. He then smashed his fist on the surface of the sea, causing an explosion of water. Flames of fury burned inside him. If he had properly looked after Bai Fang and Bai Rui, the two of them wouldn't have died. He was careless, thinking that because no one recognized him here, he could relax his tense nerves. He hadn't expected this soaring dragon company, which was said to be on the same level as the Huayan Trading Company, would be so shamelessly sinister. Long Chen then took a deep breath. Getting angry now was meaningless. He looked back at the whirlpool in the distance and calmed down. Just now, that voice wasn't a real voice. It was more like the expression of a feeling. Long Chen could hear the other side's meaning. That existence had noticed his ghost sovereign mark and thus decided not to absorb his essence blood. It even sent him out. Could it be that the people on the middle and low levels are sacrifices that the soaring dragon company is giving it? Is it afraid of the ghost sovereign? Or does it have some relationship with the ghost sovereign? Thus it decided to let me off. Long Chen sank into thought. There was a terrifying existence at the bottom of the whirlpool. Compared to its cultivation base, he was like a speck of dust. The fiend devil eye. Long Chen had also heard of it before. Legend had it that it was a gate to the fiend devil world. There were terrifying fiend devils at the bottom. However, such a thing only existed in legend as no one had seen it. Furthermore, the Academy's books had no mention of such things, so Long Chen had always felt them to be nothing more than a story. Soaring Dragon Company. Thinking of this group of despicable little people, Long Chen's anger, which he had just calmed down, rose once more. Long Chen had promised to protect that brother and sister. Although he had told them not to leave him, this failure still stemmed from his carelessness. That was the only way that the Soaring Dragon Company had managed to deceive Bai Fang. He had thought that after ending up so far from the heavenly swell domain, he would have some temporary peace. But the cultivation world was full of dirty mud that dragged people down into its depths. Moreover, there were countless vipers and crocodiles hiding in that mud. One slip-up and your boat would capsize. Suddenly, he heard the sound of a strange wind. It was like a sobbing sound, and it grew closer and closer. As it sounded like ghouls crying, it gave others chills. It's the aura of a ghost ship. Long Chen was surprised. Sensing the direction, he rushed off toward that sound. It. Half a month later, the Soaring Dragon Company's ship slowly approached the dock. There was an endless stream of people coming and going on the dock. The entire dock was tens of thousands of miles long 
and all of it was for the soaring dragon company's business this place was the violet flame heaven and it had a particularly bright blue sky also the spiritual kai was abundant and the heavenly dows were auspicious it was suitable for cultivation of all life forms the violet flame heaven was a cultivation world that countless experts dreamed of reaching it was one of the three best preserved heavens from after that ancient battle at this moment tens of thousands of ships were coming and going on the dock they were mostly merchant ships and hunting ships this place was one of the soaring dragon company's strongholds in the violet flame heaven and it was bustling they almost monopolized all the water transport in this area the ship that long chen had originally been on slowly got closer to the dock however no one came off nor were there any cheers it was silent following that experts of the soaring dragon company came out one after another carrying cases off of the ship senior kai hong it's been an arduous journey these people weren't sacrificed a world king greeted them but he was a bit surprised to see these cases that lead elder on the ship was called kai hong kai hong said these people have good aptitudes it would be a shame to sacrifice them to the fiend devil i place slave marks on them and toss them into the primordial desolate world to extract ores senior kai hong why is your expression like that did you run into some difficulty asked that world king curiously a quick look at Navaloon calm will leave you more fulfilled don't bring it up again when killing pigs we ended up encountering a wild boar it was quite fierce and almost caused the ship to flip over i had to sacrifice two people of the she clan before i settled it and tossed it into the fiend devil i to be killed said kai hong clenching his teeth irritably no way of the nine heaven stages of world cain only those in the first heaven stage can pass through the wall between heavens harm free were three first heaven stage world kings unable to suppress him asked to that world king in amazement ugh i'm not talking about it it's all in the past is senior yu shu present i have an important thing to report to him said kai hong kai hong get the hell out just then a heaven-shaking furious roar rang out and killing intent filled the land this roar that sounded like it came from a celestial devil echoed throughout the entire dock over and over again the originally sunny sky instantly darkened as black clouds covered the sky endless death kai filled the world everyone was shocked as for kai hong his hair stood on end he recognized long chen's voice he hastily looked into the distance only to see a black ship far in the distance where the water met the sky as the ship appeared the entire world changed color becoming dark and deathly this dock belonged to the soaring dragon company but over ninety per cent of the people on it belonged to other powers they were renting the dock of the soaring dragon company to come and go and they had paid quite the yearly fee to them on the other hand the soaring dragon company's own ships constituted only a very small portion of the ships they were only in charge of maintaining order the millions of experts carrying out their business were dumbfounded when they saw the world change color when looking into the distance their eyes almost popped out boast boast ship seeing a rotting ship emitting endless black kai that infected the world they felt like they were seeing a ship of death from hell on top of the ship was a black robed man erupting with killing intent the black kai of the boast ship was merely a bit of decoration compared to his killing intent making him appear like a devil god who had come to reap lives it's him click activate the grand defensive formation immediately shouted kai hong in terror who is he shouted the other world king he is that one i was talking about didn't you say that he was already dead how should i know i clearly tossed him into the fiend devil eye who knows how he got back out 
Kai Hong was filled with terror and panic. Long Chen had come back for retribution. What is going on? How can a person control a ghost ship? What kind of calamity did you provoke? That world king grew increasingly horrified. Even his tone was no longer polite. Ghost ships were unlucky existences, and even world kings were afraid of them. Now, a person was actually in control of a ghost ship and steering it right toward them. This surpassed the scope of everyone's understanding. It was something that didn't even exist in legend. Everyone unrelated to this matter should get out of the way now. Boss Long San is going to slaughter everyone remaining. Long Chen roared. He then spotted Kai Hong from a great distance. Upon thinking of Bai Fang and Bai Rui, who had died miserable deaths, his eyes almost spat out flames. Chapter 3486 Seeing this scene, countless experts fled for their lives. They didn't know who Boss Long San was, but they didn't dare to get close to that ghost ship. It was said that even just looking at a ghost ship could easily infect someone with terrifying karma. If they actually got close to it, they would be doomed. The formations on the docks quickly activated, forming layers of defenses. As for the ghost ship, the wind and waves pushed it onward even faster. It quickly reached those defenses. Fill him. Kai Hong ordered the person controlling the grand formations to unleash a killing blow on Long Chen. Hence, the grand formations condensed and runes lit up. Astonishing divine might shook the world. But what shocked them was that while the runes gathered, they couldn't merge. What, what is going on? It's probably the influence of the ghost ship's aura. The grand formations have lost their effect. How can this be? The soaring dragon company's people panicked. As the black kai filled the world, the protective light of the grand formations slowly melted like snow meeting a blazing sun. But just then, the ghost ship that looked like it was about to fall apart from decay smashed into the docks. With a heaven-shaking explosion, a black ripple shot in every direction corroding countless buildings rapidly. The port's ships, boats, and towers all collapsed. It was like they had suddenly gone through millions of years of usage, finally reaching the end of their lifespan and turning into black dust. At this moment, the ghost ship exploded and the power of time erupted. Black ripples unfurled. In just a breath's time, the ripples spread a hundred thousand miles and continued to spread. Other than people, all buildings and constructions decayed and fell apart. As for the people, it was like they were cursed. Their skin turned black. Only supreme experts were capable of barely resisting that immense force and fleeing. As for Kai Hong and the other world kings, they had long since fled in terror. They weren't touched by that black Kai. However, seeing the others with black Kai covering their bodies, they were horrified. Those people had their longevity stripped away without even being aware of it. In an instant, this glorious land was turned into a land of death. Death Kai infected every single thing here, and the bustling port vanished, with all the buildings and ships turning to black dirt. This ghost ship had been found by Long Chen, and he had forcibly changed its course. Not caring about karma, he sent it charging after the soaring dragon company's ship. That tablet on him had almost caused him his death, but now it helped him out. It was connected to the ship's formation, and through that faint sense, he was able to accurately chase after it. As for the experts that were originally busily working on the docks, they were horrified. They watched as that giant stronghold that had been standing for countless years vanished just like that. They felt like they were in a nightmare. Little fellow, you dare to destroy my soaring dragon company's base. Dai, seeing Long Chen walk out of the black mist, a world king in charge of guarding the port roared and attacked with his palm. He had been in seclusion and had no idea what had happened. But seeing that all the buildings were destroyed, his fury soared. Sensing that Long Chen was only a divine lord, 
he directly reached out to grab him. Careful! Kai Hong was appalled and hastily shouted at him. But it was too late. The next moment, a blood-color light flashed, and that world king was cleaved in two by a saber. Even before his body split apart, another streak of saber, light swept out, cutting him apart once more. The four pieces of his body fell from the sky. A world king was killed just like that, as effortlessly as cutting a melon. That world king was actually quite powerful. Although he was also at the first heaven stage, he was younger, meaning that his blood car was active enough that he had a chance to reach the second heaven stage. That was why he was in seclusion, but perhaps his anger was clouding his judgment. He had rashly attacked without even summoning his manifestation. Even after killing a world king, Long Chen's anger didn't diminish. He walked through the air, his lightning wings flickering and his divine ring raging. Now, his stars poured energy throughout his body. His target was Kai Hong. Long Chen's head was full of Bai Fang and Bai Rui. Those two kind-hearted people had died right in front of him, and his hatred overflowed. Kai Hong, you bastard, I will tear your body into a million pieces. Long Chen's voice was like thunder shaking people's ears. Seeing that Long Chen was clearly in the Divine Lord realm but possessed the power to slay world kings, everyone was shocked. He was like a devil god that had suddenly descended upon them. Attacked together, Kai Hong was already locked onto by Long Chen. Fearing for his life, he took out a ruler covered in strange marks. The other world kings also took out their weapons. The ship originally had three world kings, and the port had five. As Long Chen had killed one, there were only seven of them in total. At this moment, seven world kings attacked at once, and their auras erupted together. As a result, the world shook. Split the heavens, too. Even against seven world kings, Long Chen didn't retreat. The Ming Hong saber cried out, becoming one with Long Chen. Boom. After that, the earth was torn apart. Terrifying ripples appeared throughout the world, but the space didn't shatter. Clearly, the violet flame heaven's heavenly dows were more complete, and its space was more stable. It wasn't so easy to break apart. Even after concentrating all of his power, Long Chen didn't manage to make the void shatter. Long Chen and the seven world kings coughed up blood together. It was only with their combined force that they managed to block Long Chen's attack, and they were all injured. Long Chen flew back, his feet stamping on the ground like nails to stabilize himself. After that, lightning flickered, and he shot toward one of the world kings, arriving before them in the blink of an eye. Save me! That world king cried out. That last exchange had caused his kai and blood to flip inside of him, and it had yet to settle. Incapable of concentrating his power, there was no way he could block Long Chen. The closest world king to that elder hastily rushed over and stabbed his sword at Long Chen's ribs, trying to force Long Chen away. However, he hadn't expected Long Chen to completely ignore his attack. Long Chen's saber blasted his target into blood mist. As for that sword attack, it pierced the dragon's scale armor, but the attacker wasn't the slightest bit happy about it. Instead, an expression of terror came over him. Theft is never good. Try looking at Novel Loon. Come, his sword might have pierced Long Chen's body, but it was like it had planted roots inside of him, and he could no longer pull it out. He had tried to use his power to make Long Chen explode, but he found that his power was like a clay ox falling into an ocean within Long Chen's body. Get back! Kai Hong shouted. He and the other world kings rushed over. Regretfully, that person was caught in his hesitation over whether or not to throw away his sword or cause his power to explode within Long Chen to give everyone a chance to kill him. As a result, Long Chen's saber swung through a strange angle in the air, cutting off his head. 
Chapter 3487 Another World King was slain, so now only five of the world kings remained. They were one step too late to save that world king. Boom! The five of their attacks landed with an explosive sound. However, Long Chen's saber sent the five of them flying back, coughing up blood. It had taken the seven of them to fight evenly against Long Chen. Now that they had lost two, their guts shrank and they were mentally suppressed. As a result, they were unable to stop a single blow from Long Chen. Split the heavens, too. Long Chen once more roared and raised his saber. At some point, a faint layer of violet mist had appeared on top of the blood-red saber. The five of them joined forces to defend, only for two of their physical bodies to be unable to endure the impact. They were blasted apart. Their Yuan spirits had just fled when Long Chen's palm slammed down, extinguishing their souls. The people watching in the distance were completely stunned. The Soaring Dragon Company was one of the Violet Flame Heaven's top trading companies, as equally famous as the Huayan Trading Company. Although their foundation couldn't compare to the Huayan Trading Company and their history wasn't as long as theirs, they were extremely powerful. No one dared to offend them. Hence, these people couldn't believe their eyes. Some youngster who could control a ghost ship had suddenly come for them. Furthermore, with a divine lord cultivation base, he slew world kings across two major realms. Although the violet flame heaven was full of hidden dragons and crouching titers, those who could fight across two major realms and one against seven were definitely legendary existences. Just who is he? How can he control a ghost ship? What kind of enmity does he have with the Soaring Dragon Company? Why is his anger so overwhelming? Fortunately, he warned us before attacking. Otherwise, if we were one step slower, all of us would have been turned to black dust. Seeing how ferocious Long Chen was consecutively killing world kings, all of those people were stunned and discussing it. When they looked at the other experts of the Soaring Dragon Company, even if these people couldn't read the future or sense that their longevity had been stripped away, they could at least see that those struck by the black ripple and survived were left with a black imprint on them. That was probably an omen of a calamity about to strike them. Everyone said that those who got close to a ghost ship would have misfortune befall them. To put it frankly, they would have calamities befall them one after another. It seemed that the legends weren't completely imaginary. Some people with smaller guts had thought of the words of their elders when the ghost ship appeared, and they had immediately fled without even looking back. That was because their elders always said that this was the only way to keep themselves safe. Some people with larger guts Back of those who felt themselves to be strong enough and didn't put much stock in those legends were curious enough to stay behind and keep watching. It had to be known that an enormous existence like the Soaring Dragon Company had not been challenged by anyone for tens of thousands of years. But this ominous black-robed youngster suddenly appeared and did so. This was a huge affair. As witnesses to this event, they felt like if they fled, they would look down on themselves for the rest of their lives. Now, only three world kings remained. Seeing that the situation bode ill, they immediately turned and fled. The instant two of them fled, a lightning spear and a flame spear pierced through their bodies. They instantly turned to ashes. Kai Hong watched as all his allies were slain. He was pale with horror. Even his ruler was starting to shake, showing just how afraid he was. Now you know fear. Why didn't you know fear when you offended even the heavens by causing the deaths of all those innocent cultivators? Seeing Kai Hong's terrified gaze only made Long Chen's rage rise. His saber slashed down. Kai Hong clenched his teeth and concentrated all his power on his ruler, pushing his power to his peak. As a result, his ruler was cut apart and his arms exploded. Blood gushed out of his seven orifices. After that, he smashed into a distant mountain peak, 
causing it to crumble. Long Chen then walked toward Kai Hong. With every step, the world shook. Long Chen's killing intent was still soaring. He was like a life reaping devil king walking toward Kai Hong. Now, Kai Hong's arms were gone and his body was covered in cracks. He was completely horrified. All his bones were broken, but seeing Long Chen, his body could still twitch as he cowered back. Are you afraid now? Do you finally cherish your own life? So why didn't you cherish the lives of the innocent cultivators that you sacrificed to the fiend devil I? They were full of hope and anticipation for the future. They had spent their life's savings, but you sent them into the open maw of the devil. Moreover, Bai Fang and Bai Rui were so pure and kind. Are you an animal? How could your conscience allow you to deceive them and make them kill themselves? Long Chen's eyes were scarlet. Every word he said was dripping with bloody hatred. He wanted to cut this person a thousand times and turn every part of him to dust. Suddenly, the void shook and barriers of light appeared. World kings appeared one by one. There were over thirty of them, and some of them were thrumming with powerful divine energy. Their auras were far stronger than Kai Hong and the others. It's the Soaring Dragon Company's experts. Startled cries rang out. Their reinforcements had come, and they were over thirty world kings. Counting carefully, there were thirty-six of them. Furthermore, every single one of them was carrying a golden bowl. Those golden bowls had complicated lines carved into them. They were immediately pointed toward Long Chen. Search Navaloon come for the original. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, your death is at hand. Seeing those reinforcements, the terrified Kai Hung instantly grew arrogant and laughed. After that, thirty-six rays of divine light shot out of the thirty-six golden bowls. They were chains that bound Long Chen with incomparable speed. By the time Long Chen reacted, he was already tightly bound. This is the Soaring Dragon Company's faith divine item, the treasure gathering bowl. A shocked cry rang out, but they didn't dare to be sure. The Soaring Dragon Company's treasure gathering bowl was said to be the same as the Huayan Trading Company's major world golden coin. They were both faith divine items with boundless power. However, whether it was the major world golden coin or the treasure gathering bowl, people had only heard of them and never actually witnessed them. Both companies were trading companies and almost never fought with others. So people could only guess. Brazen interloper. You dare to challenge the Soaring Dragon Company? Although we focus on business with the idea that any ability makes you rich, we will not allow others to provoke us. Amongst the newcomers was a comparatively younger elder. Seeing that this port had been turned into a land of death, he was shocked and enraged. You focus on any ability makes you rich? Fuck your amiability makes you rich. Your soaring dragon company clearly murders people for money, cursed Long Chen. Spiritual fluctuations came from Kai Hong. He was most likely communicating with that elder. Now that elder's expression changed, and he suddenly shouted, It was clearly you who killed people to escape a calamity for yourself, but you blame my soaring dragon company. Capture him. The elder didn't give Long Chen a chance to reply. Thirty-six people pulled in their chains at once. Long Chen, don't worry, we won't kill you. I have a method for gathering every treasure on your body. You really came at the right time. Kai Hong looked at the bound Long Chen and sneered sinisterly. But I will kill you. Suddenly, a pitch-black dagger appeared in Long Chen's hand. Those chains were cut through like they were tofu. You, Kai Hong's smile barely had a chance to transform into terror before that black dagger pierced through his head. Chapter 3488 The dagger passed through Kai Hong's head. His face still had its terrified, unwilling, and perplexed expression. Just before his death, he had assumed that there was no way Long Chen could break free from this formation. 
the treasure-gathering bowl was condensed from faith energy, and it also had the combined power of thirty-six world kings. Unless Long Chen's power was many times greater than those thirty-six world kings, he would be a bird caught in a cage. For Long Chen to suddenly break out of that cage effortlessly, even in death, Kai Hong felt unwilling. Kai Hong's corpse slowly fell to the ground. Long Chen then shattered his soul and saw a palm-sized piece of beautiful jade in his memories. This jade had a beautiful snowflake mark twinkling within it, and it actually pulsed like a snow-white flame. This was precisely the treasure that Bai Fang had mentioned, the ice soul. After obtaining it, Long Chen realized what a heaven-defying treasure it was. This was one of the top ten heavenly flames. It was the ice flame that was ranked even above the heavenly rainbow flame, the ice soul. Bai Fang didn't know that this treasure was precisely the legendary rank eight heavenly flame, the ice soul. This ice soul divine jade was of unknown origins. Due to how long it had been, even the Bai family did not know how their ancestors had obtained it. The Bai family was originally a glorious and enormous existence thousands of generations ago. Later on, their family declined, gradually shrinking into a small noble family that barely made a living for themselves. Their fallen family only had this one treasure. Although they didn't know what it was used for, they knew that it was the most ancient thing in their treasure chamber, thus they particularly cherished it. However, it was because of this that the Bai family ended up drawing killers in the night. Their family was wiped out, with only Bai Fang and Bai Rui escaping. Furthermore, the one to harm the Bai family was connected to the Kai Song from the ship. The perpetrator had mentioned the Bai family to Kai Song, telling him that they had a heaven-shaking treasure, and that Kai Song had to take note of them if he encountered them. In truth, that person didn't even know what kind of treasure the Bai family had. They had searched through the entire shoreside star field without finding Bai Fang and Bai Rui. Afraid of leaving behind a disaster, they intentionally spread words that the two of them had a treasure. This matter was so coincidental. The two of them really had been holding a treasure, and Kai Song had set his sights on them. Kai Song himself didn't know that this treasure was so heaven-defying. He had thought that it was nothing more than an ordinary treasure. Afterward, he told Kai he about this matter, and Kai he informed Kai Hong. However, Kai Hong didn't treat it seriously back then, telling them to deal with it themselves, only to cause Long Chen to come out. Thereafter, Kai Hong considered how he could get that treasure from Bai Fang's hands. When he saw the ice soul divine jade, he almost died from shock. As an experienced businessman, he instantly recognized it to be a priceless treasure. Support us at Navaloon, come, although he didn't know what exactly it was used for, for it to have the name of the rank a heavenly flame as part of it, it was definitely priceless. However, Bai Fang had managed to make one smart play. This ice soul divine jade could not be activated without a special method. It was like there was endless energy locked inside, and only Bai Fang knew the activation method. As Bai Fang had passed that method to Long Chen and died, Kai Hong immediately used a secret technique to send the treasure to his senior, Yu Shu. The ice soul divine jade was no longer on his body. Long Chen suddenly turned to the leader of these world kings. He coldly asked, Who is Yu Shu? His response was an attack from thirty-six world kings. Thirty-six rays of divine light then shot toward Long Chen once more. Since you refuse to answer, you can die. Kuo linger, lay linger, kill them all. Don't leave a single one alive. Long Chen's face was dark. He couldn't be bothered to waste words with this group. He had to quickly reclaim the ice soul divine jade. Otherwise, if it landed in the hands of the Soaring Dragon Company's higher-ups, there would be no getting it back. Bai Fang had entrusted Long Chan with getting back the ice soul divine jade. That was a treasure he had originally been planning to give to Long Chen, but it had been conned away by Kai Hong. 
At that moment, he was filled with hatred and regret, hatred for his own foolishness. Even in death, his resentful will remained. If Long Chen couldn't reclaim the ice soul divine jade, Bai Fang wouldn't be able to rest in peace. Lightning flames destroy the heavens. Lei Linger and Huo Linger appeared, shouting together. After that, a lightning dragon and a flame dragon twisted together, smashing into those thirty-six chains. Flame and lightning runes raged throughout the world. It was like a firework lighting up heaven and earth, looking glorious. However, behind this firework was endless destructive power. The treasure-gathering bowls within their hands exploded. Perhaps those treasure-gathering bowls could resist the flame energy, but Lei Linger possessed the power of heavenly tribulation and indirectly shattered them. Faith divine items appeared incredibly weak in front of the power of heavenly tribulation. What? Those world kings were stupefied. Just then, Lei Linger and Huo Linger reached them. One carried the world extermination lightning radiance, while the other carried the world extermination flame lotus. These two ultimate moves were unleashed like they cost nothing. With their treasure gathering bowls destroyed, those world kings had yet to take out new weapons when they were devoured by the lightning and flames. They exploded one after another. Boom. Just then, Long Chen's Minghong saber clashed with the saber of the lead elder. Saber cries rang out, shaking the heavens. Long Chen then narrowed his eyes. This was a second heaven stage world king. Just as Bai Leshen had told him, amongst world kings, a single increase in heaven stage led to huge differences in combat power. A second heaven stage world king was several times stronger than a first heaven stage world king. The second heaven stage world king was shocked. A little divine lord like Long Chen was actually capable of receiving his attack. Who are you? roared this world king. Long Chen had such talent and power. He must have come from some powerful background. You group of animals, do you think you're qualified to ask my name? Long Chen roared back, beginning to unleash a torrent of attacks with his saber. The two of them exchanged over ten blows in one breath. In the end, that world king was unable to beat Long Chen and was forced back five steps. Just as he stabilized himself to receive Long Chen's next blow, a lightning blade and a flame blade stabbed through his back. Oh! Long Chen's saber then stabbed him through the head. While reading his soul, Long Chen waved his hand. After that, the tablet on the World King's waist fell into Long Chen's hand. Long Chen pulled back, lay linger and he will linger. At this moment, the tablet in his hand lit up, and he was enveloped with divine energy. Space shuddered, and he vanished. Of the original thirty-six world kings, only seven remained. They were all pale, their eyes full of fear. Not good. He's going to the headquarters in the Evergreen Prefecture, shouted a world king. They also activated their tablets, vanishing. The battle here ended just like that. As a result, the experts watching in the distance were struck as dumb as wooden chickens. Looking at the completely deformed terrain as well as the corpses of the world kings, they were unable to say a single word for a long time. Chapter 3489 Boom Within an ancient city, a giant transportation formation exploded and a blood-colored saber slashed through the air. As a result, a line of buildings was cut in two, the cut as flat and smooth as a mirror. The top parts of the buildings then slowly fell to the ground. This sudden attack shook the entire ancient city. The next moment, countless experts unleashed their auras and rushed out of the buildings. When they saw a black-robed youngster holding a blood-colored saber walking through this stronghold of the Soaring Dragon Company, they were all stunned. Long Chen's killing intent was soaring. He had shattered the transportation formation behind him, conveniently killing the few world kings that had followed him. As a result, 
those world kings were directly crushed by the spatial energy without having a chance to show themselves. At this moment, Long Chen's divine sense spread and he immediately sensed his target. Ignoring these bewildered experts of the Soaring Dragon Company, he whirled his saber and dug into the ground. In a location deep beneath the earth was a treasury that was covered in runes. There were layers of restrictions here. Seeing this, Long Chen took out the black dagger and instantly pierced through all those restrictions. He then stabbed the Minglong saber into that opening, split the heavens too, an immense power exploded underground, and countless buildings were blown apart, along with countless experts of the Soaring Dragon Company. The earth exploded. Dust and sand created a giant mushroom cloud, and it rapidly spread, covering the entire city. What scoundrel dares to run amok in my Soaring Dragon Company? Get out of here! A heaven-shaking roar rang out. At the same time, a dark-faced elder came flying out, his long hair flying like an angry lion. Boom! The next moment, the earth shuddered and a giant square case appeared. The entire case was covered in runes and gave off a heavy air. However, at this moment, the runes on the case were dim. Courting death, that dark-faced elder was instantly enraged. That was the treasury of the Soaring Dragon Company and it was filled with countless treasures. Both a saber image sword, forcing back that dark-faced elder. Long Chen's figure then appeared in the sky. There was now a palm-sized crystalline piece of jade in his hand with a snowflake seal on it. The snowflake was pure and beautiful. It didn't give off an aura, but Long Chen could sense an energy concealed within, power that could destroy heaven and earth. I finally obtained it. When Long Chen used the black dagger to cut open the treasury, he immediately noticed it. Fortunately, this jade was in the treasury, and not in the hands of that dark-faced elder. He lightly rubbed this ice-soul divine jade. He didn't feel much joy, though. Whenever he thought of Bai Fang and Bai Rui, he felt sad. The ice-soul divine jade might be a priceless treasure, but to Long Chen, its value didn't exceed the value of their lives. If he could, he would destroy this ice soul divine jade for their lives. Regretfully, such a thing was impossible in this world. At this moment, an iron fist smashed toward Long Chen's head. In return, Long Chen's Minglong saber slashed through the air. When they collided, sparks flew and Long Chen's arm shuddered. He was blown back by that punch. Also, hundreds of experts had appeared, the majority being world kings. However, only four were wearing the robes of the Soaring Dragon Company. The rest didn't seem to belong to the Soaring Dragon Company. That dark-faced elder put on battle armor with runes flowing on top of it. After that, the divine might of a world king crashed down, making even breathing difficult. Long Chen put away the ice soul divine jade. Just before that, he had also put away the treasury of the entire Soaring Dragon Company. That was why this elder was so furious. Find the original at Navaloon. Come, you dare to steal my Soaring Dragon Company's treasures? You have guts. Speak. Who are you? Bark that dark faced elder. Only then did Long Chen take note that this place was a giant prefecture city, and the Soaring Dragon Company only occupied a corner of the city. Also, countless experts were coming out from the various large buildings, looking over in shock. They had no idea what was going on. Who I am isn't important. What's important is that we're of the same profession, replied Long Chen coldly. Same profession? You're from the Huayan Trading Company. That dark-faced elder's expression changed, and so did his tone. No, I'm not from the Huayan Trading Company. Long Chen shook his head. Then who are you? shouted the elder. The Violet Flame Heaven has eight trading companies, with the Huayan Trading Company and the Soaring Dragon Company being the largest. The rest are secondary. 
I said that I'm not from the Huey and Trading Company, but you didn't ask about the other trading companies. It seems that the seven of you are all allied, so it seems that the only company that can act fairly is the Huey and Trading Company. But when all other businessmen are dirty, being clean is a kind of sin. No wonder you are targeting the Huey and Trading Company so badly, sneered Long Chen. Long Chen had killed so many world kings of the Soaring Dragon Company. Although he couldn't do soul searches, he could at least see a bit in the fragments of their souls. In those soul fragments, he saw many dirty acts. These people had created a reputation for their integrity while doing countless vile acts behind people's backs. That was why Long Chen had directly been so vicious when he arrived. You say that you aren't from the Huayan Trading Company, but you're always speaking up for them. As I see it, you are definitely from the Huayan Trading Company, shouted a world king. Are you helping a dot eat shit? Long Chen eyed that speaker. It wasn't someone from the Soaring Dragon Company. But by standing here, they were clearly standing on the same side. I said that we're of the same profession because we're all robbers. Your Soaring Dragon Company robs people secretly, while I, Boss Long San, do it openly. In terms of technique, you're greater. But in terms of efficiency, I'm much better. You murder and rob people while scheming and fighting against each other, but I do it much more simply, said Long Chen lightly. Don't waste words on him. Capture him. Once we torture him, I refuse to believe that he won't say who sent him. That world king had just finished speaking when Long Chen silently appeared in front of him. After that, Long Chen grabbed his neck just like that. Everyone was shocked. Long Chen's movement art was too fast and bizarre. He moved without the slightest warning. By the time the thought of going to save their ally formed in their heads, it was already too late. No one had expected Long Chen to suddenly attack. They had actually thought that he was waiting for further reinforcements or perhaps preparing to crush a transportation talisman to escape. Hence, their main focus was on the surrounding spatial fluctuations. However, in just the blink of an eye, that arrogant world king was caught in Long Chen's hands. He quivered with fear, and the smell of urine filled the air. This world king was actually so scared that he lost control over his bladder. You don't have any other abilities other than crapping and helping other dogs eat crap. If you're willing to eat back your own crap, I'll spare your life, said Long Chen coldly. I, I'll eat. What no one had expected was for this world king to be so terrified that he actually agreed. Chapter 3490 Eat Then Long Chen really released him. That world king then used some secret art as soon as Long Chen let go, vanishing and reappearing beside the other world kings. Idiot! You're the one who's going to eat shit. Your head is full of shit. After escaping, that world king instantly changed his tone, cursing Long Chen to win back the face that he had just lost. I gave you a chance to live, but you didn't cherish it. Long Chen snorted. Just then, a violet ring made out of lightning appeared around the world king's neck. At this moment, its power erupted. No. That world king only had a chance to scream a single word. When the lightning ring exploded, everything from his neck up was turned into smithereens. His Yuan spirit also crumbled. Huey and Trading Company, how brazen! Are you declaring war on my soaring dragon company? shouted the dark faced elder furiously. You are the one called Yu Shu? I already said that I'm not from the Huey and Trading Company but you keep trying to label me as such. Well, it's fine. If you want to label me that, go ahead. Now, I'm not just going to take back what's mine, but I'm also going to slaughter a few people as retribution for the millions of innocent lives that you ended. Long Chen extended his hand and a flame lotus appeared. This attack wasn't aimed at anyone. 
instead it smashed into the ground before this attack the earth was already cracked but there were still some buildings standing on it Boom. however after the attack landed flames exploded ravaging this area as the soaring dragon company's buildings were already tottering and had lost the protection of their formations they were instantly turned into scorched earth startled cries then rang out from the people in the distance this black-robed youngster really was intent on completely destroying this stronghold of the soaring dragon company just what kind of enmity did they have beneath the ground was the soaring dragon company's karmic luck dragon meridian without the protection of the formations that karmic luck would be released but as long as the dragon meridian was repaired this karmic luck would be replenished although there would be some loss it was still possible to recover however the destructive aura of the world extermination flame lotus instantly ignited this karmic luck this was an irrecoverable loss to the soaring dragon company only someone with an undying enmity that would not rest until the other side was wiped out would do something so severe this novel is available on Novelum. Calm the Soaring Dragon Company was an enormous existence spread throughout the nine heavens and ten lands. It not only possessed immense wealth, but also endless experts. Since they had raised countless heavenly geniuses, their power was unfathomable. In the past tens of thousands of years, not a single power had dared to challenge them like this. Even the Huayan Trading Company, which had the same power level as them, only competed with them through regular means. Such a conflict had never erupted. Just where did this black-robed youngster come from? As he dared to challenge the Soaring Dragon Company, countless people began to make guesses about his origins. Die! The dark-faced world king instantly shot toward Long Chen. He had been waiting this entire time, for the forces behind Long Chen to reveal themselves. He refused to believe that a little divine lord dared to fight them. However, Long Chen was constantly attacking, ruining their stronghold. As a result, they no longer had the luxury of waiting for Long Chen's reinforcements. The dark faced World King's armor lit up, and he attacked. Runes appeared around him along with his manifestation. In that instant, the laws of the heavenly Tao's changed, and the space around Long Chen, in particular, seemed to freeze. A halo of light then appeared behind that dark-faced world king's head. After that, heaven and earth shuddered, and the runes of the grand Tao converged on him. He has activated the world king divine radiance. It seems that he is going all out now. A little divine lord actually makes him unleash his full power. This youngster really is terrifying, said another world king that was standing amongst the spectators. The world king divine radiance was something that could only be unleashed by world kings that had reached the third heaven stage. When this divine radiance appeared, the ten thousand Tao's merged, turning them into the king of the world, an irresistible existence. When the World King Divine Radiance appeared, all those with lower realms than the users faced there will suppression. Hence, even from such a distance, people hiding in buildings and protected by formations still quivered when they sensed that pressure. Long Chen was at the core of that pressure, so he was definitely enduring an unimaginably terrifying will. But his expression still didn't change. Even when he was fighting a third heaven stage world king, battle intent still poured out of him. Boom! Upon facing this attack, Long Chen's entire body shuddered. As his kai and blood flicked inside of him, his heart shook. He had slain second heaven stage world kings before, but a third heaven stage world king was far stronger. This dark-faced elder's aura was very condensed. Moreover, his battle armor was a priceless treasure, and his World King pressure was very effective at compressing space. As the space around him was compressed, Long Chen was suffering quite a bit. Rat, hand over your treasures and I can spare your life. That dark-faced elder's heart was shaken, though. 
Just now, he hadn't held back, but Long Chen still survived. Feeling like Long Chen's status was definitely not ordinary, the elder left Long Chen a way out. Unfortunately, I have no plans on sparing any of you sharks that don't even spit out bones when you eat people. Boss Long San will fight to the death with you. Long Chen thought of Bai Fang and Bai Rui as well as those people that had been filled with hope for the future. The Soaring Dragon Company had obliterated them without remorse, sacrificing them to the fiend Devil Eye. Although Long Chen had no relationship with anyone else on the ship other than Bai Fang and Bai Rui, he still felt unbearably furious. He could not forget those people. Just remembering their gazes of despair as they fell into the whirlpool, his fury soared. After that, he let out a heaven-shaking roar and repeatedly swung the Ming-Ong saber, unleashing all of his power. One blow after another came out, all containing his full power. Even that world king was shaken. After ten exchanges, Long Chen's hand was bleeding. The immense backlash force of each blow was starting to injure him. However, he didn't care. The primal chaos space's wood foundation divine trees provided him with endless life energy, and he had enough confidence in this regard. As for the dark-faced elder, three of those attacks had struck his body. Despite the protection of his armor and being equipped to his teeth, he still coughed up a mouthful of blood. The thing that made his heart shake the most was that Long Chen quickly found the weak spots in his armor. One was the center of his back, the other one was the crotch, and the last one was the neck. Long Chen's attacks didn't leave those weak spots after finding them. At this moment, he, a third heaven stage world king who had fought countless battles in his life, was actually being suppressed. Senior Yu Shu pities him for being a genius and doesn't want to use any killing blows. We'll attack him together and capture him alive. One of the Soaring Dragon Company's world kings sensed something wrong and joined the battle. This person was quite crafty, giving the dark-faced elder some face by saying that the elder hadn't subdued Long Chen after all this time because the elder didn't want to kill a genius. Following that, the other world kings all joined in. Rays of divine light then weaved together, and the surrounding space compressed. With over a hundred world kings joining forces, they used their combined pressure to suppress Long Chen, making him unable to move. At that moment, Long Chen felt like countless currents were crashing down on him from all directions. With over a hundred world kings unleashing their pressure on him at once, his body felt like it would be crushed. A group of bastards, just wait. I'll remember this debt, Long Chen roared. Although this dark-faced elder was a third heaven stage world king, Long Chen didn't feel any fear toward him. With his endless life energy, he could exhaust the elder to death, but with the others joining in, he instantly fell into desperate straits, so his fury soared. These fools. Long Chen had killed one fellow that helped the big dog eat shit, but they still came. Rat, even if you grow wings, you won't be able to flee. Take back those big words, sneered one of those world kings. If Boss Long Sam wants to leave, do you think you fools can stop me? Long Chen frowned furiously. After a full power exchange with that dark-faced world king, he suddenly put away his saber. Flames then appeared in his left hand and lightning in his right hand. A flame lotus merged with lightning. Lightning flames devour the heavens. Long Chen roared. After that, a mix of lightning and flames was unleashed. It was like the sun was suddenly exploding. Time and space seemed to freeze. Chapter 3491 Lightning and Flames Mixed to Form a Violet Red Lotus That lotus then exploded as soon as it appeared. Although Long Chen fled the core instantly, his golden dragon scales were still blasted apart by that terrifying power. He was left a bloody pulp. 
lightning flames devour the heavens. This was a new ultimate move that Long Chen had just started researching. It was based on the same principle as double dragon destruction. However, this time, he was mixing the world extermination flame lotus and the world extermination lightning radiance. However, even if Lei Linger and Huel Linger were familiar with each other, and they both possessed the destructive aspect in ample amounts, their elements were completely different. Long Chen couldn't merge them in an attack. Before this, the double dragon destruction had both of their powers erupt right at the last moment. The power was great, but it was entirely a simple addition of one plus one being two. However, Long Chen found that if he could use his own power to merge both of their energies, then even if it was just a temporary balance, such an attack would unleash many times the power of the double dragon destruction. He had yet to fully research this technique and wasn't able to fully control it. However, in front of so many world kings, his fury made him not care about all that. He directly unleashed the lightning flames devour the heavens. As a result, divine light devoured the heavens while endless flames and lightning weaved together. People saw a giant lotus spread, devouring everyone on the battlefield. Long Chen was blasted out like a shooting star. All his scales were destroyed, and his body was a bloody mess. As for the other world kings, they didn't have bodies as powerful as Long Chen's. Their physical bodies were instantly destroyed, leaving behind only their Yuan spirits. That dark-faced world king also hacked up blood. Although his armor had protected his life, its runes had fully dimmed. Even this priceless battle armor was badly damaged. Of over a hundred world kings, only the dark-faced third head and stage world king survived with his physical body intact. The others were left with only their Yuan spirits floating in the air. Everyone was stupefied. Just how was a little divine lord capable of unleashing such terrifying power. At this moment, Long Chen felt like his body would collapse. His bones were covered in cracks, and pain came from every part of him. Due to not being able to control the power, Long Chen had endured essentially the same amount of force as that third heaven stage world king. However, in just an instant, his physical body healed and the broken golden scales appeared once more. What? Seeing that Long Chen's body went from being on the verge of collapse to fully healed in an instant, everyone was shocked. Such terrifying wounds were instantly healed. Did he possess an undying body? Long Chen took a deep breath. Now, he sensed that he didn't even have half of his spiritual yuan after that attack. Furthermore, his 108,000 stars had used up quite a bit of energy to resist the backlash. Overall, his current power was around 40% of his peak. Long Chan suddenly stamped in the air, shooting toward the third heaven stage world king like a bolt of lightning. His saber slashed down. He can still fight. Startled cries rang out. Even after unleashing such a terrifying attack, and suffering such terrible wounds, his attacks were still so sharp. That berserk will of his hadn't weakened in the slightest. Boom! That third heaven stage world king couldn't dodge. As a result, he raised his arms to receive Long Chen's attack, and the armor on his arms finally reached its limit and broke apart. His arms were left a bloody pulp. Long Chen's kai and blood flipped inside of him but his killing intent did not diminish. He continued to lock on to that third heaven stage world king, seemingly unwilling to stop until the other party was dead. As for the other world kings, they only had their Yuan spirits. Although Yuan spirits could still fight, they were terrified. If their fragile Yuan spirits were also destroyed, they would truly be dead. Long Chen's attack had not just destroyed their physical bodies, but it had also destroyed their confidence. A quick look at Novel Loon Calm will leave you more fulfilled. The third heaven stage world king, with his armor destroyed, had his expression completely change. 
Contrary to other world kings, his cultivation base was connected to his armor. Having lost his battle armor, he was like a tiger that had just lost its teeth. He suddenly spat out a mouthful of blood into his hand. After forming a seal in the air, his body transformed into a blood-colored streak of light that fled away. Blood evasion art. He ran away. Inconceivable expressions appeared on many people's faces. A grand third heaven stage world king, an overlord existence of the evergreen prefecture, had actually used the blood evasion art to flee. This signified that he had been defeated by a divine lord. So what if you use blood evasion? Can you run faster than me? Long Chen sneered. Although he was also spent, he believed he could last longer. Furthermore, in terms of speed, it was nothing difficult to catch up to the elder. Just as lightning wings appeared on his back and he prepared to chase, his expression changed. His wings then flapped, and he transformed into a lightning falcon that fled in the opposite direction. He had also run. For a moment, everyone was simply dumbfounded. What was going on? Just as they were stunned, the void rumbled. Spatial gates then appeared one after another. Countless figures showed up. Those people all had powerful auras, and there were even two more third heaven stage world kings. Now everyone understood. This black-robed youngster had definitely sensed something, which was why he had fled. Although he had fled, no one looked down on him. Instead, they felt even greater admiration for him due to his sharp senses. He had exhausted himself. If he still didn't flee, he would simply be a fool. When these world kings arrived and saw the destroyed Soaring Dragon Company, their expressions sank. Fury exploded out of them. Just then, the dark-faced world king who had used blood evasion to flee returned. His face was already dark originally, but now it was even darker. If he hadn't fled and had lasted another breath's time, perhaps they would have been able to capture that black-robed youth together. However, by fleeing, it was like he was telling everyone here that he had lost. He had lost all his face, as well as caused failure this time. He was so furious that his eyes turned green with rage. Senior Yushu, what happened here? Both of the third heaven stage world kings that had just arrived felt a mix of shock and fury. Just how glorious was the Soaring Dragon Company? Who dared to provoke them like this? Senior Yushu, what power was the other side from? How many people did they bring? Asked the other world king. Based on his estimate, some power must have come out in full force to be able to cause such destruction. Eh? The dark-faced elder was speechless. He couldn't say that this was all done by a young divine lord. Although he knew that they would learn of it sooner or later, as there were countless eyes that had witnessed it, he still couldn't bring himself to say it with his own mouth. I'll explain it in detail to you when we get back. Inform the higher ups. Release a bounty for the capture. What did that little fellow call himself? Asked the dark faced elder. One of the world kings, beside him who only had a Yuan spirit left, hastily said, He called himself Boss Longsan. Yes. Announce a bounty for Boss Longsan, shouted that dark faced world king through clenched teeth. As a result, the name of Boss Long San quickly spread throughout every corner of the violet flame heaven. Chapter 3490 To the name of Boss Long San soared out of the evergreen prefecture like a tsunami, crazily crashing toward every corner of the violet flame heaven. The Cultivation World's information network was efficient from the start. Even a small matter would be transmitted through secret channels let alone something major. However, rumors didn't just have long legs, they also grew wings. As people passed the information down from mouth to mouth, people would say it according to their own style, adding some of their own details to describe what had happened. If every person added a single word, then through countless transmissions, 
the information would be distorted countless times with countless different stories arising a quick look at Navaloon com will leave you more fulfilled however two things stayed constant throughout the variations one was that a young man named boss longsan had controlled a ghost ship and crashed it into the evergreen prefecture's shore destroying the port of the soaring dragon company that had been standing for countless years the second was that afterward with an initial divine lord cultivation base that boss long sen destroyed the soaring dragon company's headquarters in the evergreen prefecture slaying over forty world kings of the soaring dragon company and destroying the physical bodies of over a hundred world kings in the end he even made a third heaven stage world king flee that was the foundation of the rumors the majority of that didn't change but there were a great deal of changes made to boss long sans origins and motives he was definitely young although they hadn't tested his age his spiritual fluctuations were exceptionally intense with just a glance his age clearly did not surpass thirty years old to reach the divine lord realm before thirty was not rare in the violet flame heaven however for him to possess the power to fight a third heaven stage world king was absolutely terrifying people all made guesses about his origins as a result with everyone randomly guessing in order to make their own guesses more likely many people came up with their own lines of logic hence there were countless versions of boss long sans origins some figures of the era of legends were even dragged into these guesses some people said that he was the disciple of some almighty figure that was because some major figures liked to wear black robes as well some also said that he had obtained some inheritance from the era of legends his divine ring manifestation was very similar to certain ancient manifestations some even described him as an existence from the dark world otherwise how could he control a ghost ship in any case there were truly many rumors as a result boss longsan became a legendary and mythical figure as for his motive in attacking the soaring dragon company quite a few people had heard him say that he came for revenge he said something about getting justice for millions of departed souls and it made countless people ponder just what the truth was some said that he was simply making an excuse to plunder the soaring dragon company others countered those rumors saying that if he dared to so openly plunder the soaring dragon company why would he bother finding an excuse there was probably some secret in this boss long sans name rapidly spread furthermore the soaring dragon company had announced a bounty for him anyone who reported a clue of his whereabouts would be thanked with a large sum from the soaring dragon company countless people wanted to find boss long sang. some wanted the money but more wanted to see just what kind of appearance this mysterious boss long sang had back in the port due to the ghost ship no one had dared to activate a photographic jade for fear of karma in the evergreen prefecture the strong hadn't thought of activating a photographic jade and the weak had activated some but due to not having powerful formations the images recorded were twisted even the figures of the people became indistinct so they were unable to see what kind of appearance long chen had more and more people were finding boss long san to be curious along the streets within restaurants boss long san's name was everywhere eh, fuck how enraging Boom. long chen punched apart a boulder his expression ugly he had almost managed to slay a third heaven stage world king but now his hatred had nowhere to go however with his current power fighting against a third heaven stage world king was very tough if it hadn't been for the help of lei linger and huo linger and if it weren't for the Minghong Saber being powerful enough, he wouldn't have been able to beat that old fellow. A third Heaven Stage World King was already so terrifying. Then what about a fourth Heaven Stage World King? That would be a mid-stage World King, and their power would be completely different. If Long Chen had to fight one, 
he would probably only be able to flee for his life that wasn't mentioning ancient existences like in Cuda, and Lyo Benkeng that had made a name for themselves countless years ago. Their cultivation bases were at the very peak of the World King Realm. Long Chen knew too little about the World King Realm. Today, he had gained some experience on just how great the differences were between its heaven stages. Long Chen had fled to a desolate mountain. After he had rested for a bit, his anger gradually settled. Long Chen suddenly bitterly smiled. It seemed that he was being a bit too greedy. Although he hadn't killed that dark-faced fellow in the end, he had killed so many people. Moreover, he had destroyed their port and one of their strongholds. If anyone should be angry, it should be them. Why was he angry? Wasn't that foolish? Long Chen took a deep breath and lazily leaned against a rock, looking at the white clouds moving along the blue sky. His mood gradually returned to normal. Long Chen thought back to what had happened. There was definitely some terrifying existence hidden beneath the Devil's Sea. It had released him because of his ghost sovereign mark. That terrifying existence was definitely related to the ghost sovereign. Furthermore, the Soaring Dragon Company had sacrificed countless travelers to that terrifying existence, so they were also connected. It was very likely some heaven-shaking secret hidden within it. However, this secret had actually been discovered by him. In order to keep it secret, the Soaring Dragon Company would not let him go, even if it hadn't been for the matter of the ice soul divine jade. I've already crossed heavens, but my bad luck follows me. When will these unlucky days come to an end? Long Chen sighed. Although he said that he had gotten used to his bad luck, this unending bad luck was still a bit irritating. He had come to the violet flame heaven and hoped to secretly enter the holy land of the Nine Underworld Hall to destroy their strange mirror. But now it was impossible. It wouldn't be long before Boss Long Sen's name would spread throughout the entire violet flame heaven. How was he supposed to sneak anywhere? Based on normal logic, he should have first set this matter aside and thought of some way of sneaking into the Nine Underworld Hall's holy land to destroy the mirror. And only afterward could he get revenge for Bai Fang and Bai Rui. After all, this was a matter that related to the lives of countless Nine Star heirs. However, at that time, Long Chen had only been thinking about revenge. There had been nothing else that he considered, and his intelligence had entered a state of hibernation. Despite that, he didn't regret it. He knew that he was unable to act in such a way. Even if he was given a hundred other chances, he would still have done this. If he didn't vent this, he would suppress himself to death. Now that he had calmed down and tidied his thoughts, he spent some time recovering. His wounds weren't bad, but he had used up the energy of his spiritual Yuan and divine flames. He would need to spend some time rested. As he rested, he took out the ice soul divine jade. He then looked at the beautiful snowflake sealed inside. The eighth rank heavenly flame, the ice soul divine flame. Let me see your true power. Long Chen dripped a drop of essence blood on the divine jade. His spiritual strength then constructed eighty-one runes on the surface. After that, the snowflake inside the jade quivered ever so slightly, and a burst of bone-chilling cold erupted all of a sudden. The mountain that Long Chen was on instantly became encased in ice. Chapter 3493 Long Chen was turned into an ice sculpture. Furthermore, a transparent aura flowed on top of this ice, and it was clearly that of a raging hot flame. The flames burned the dome of the heavens. At first, the giant mountain was encased in ice, but the next moment, the freezing cold turned into a burning heat like lava. Ice and fire mixed. As a result, the earth disintegrated and the void twisted. In just the blink of an eye, Long Chen's mountain turned into nothingness. It was completely gone. There was no more ice, no more fire. It was like everything had just been a dream. 
Long Chen couldn't help sucking in a cold gasp of air. He simply used the method that Bai Fang had taught him to draw out a trace of the ice soul's power. That trace of power was less than 1% of its max power. But it was already so terrifying. If Long Chen hadn't had Huo Linger protect him, then caught off guard, this trace of power could very likely have caused serious wounds to him. Even with Huo Linger's protection, Long Chen felt pain throughout his body. It was just pain. With cold and hot mixing, it felt like his body would explode. The ice soul divine flame possessed the contrasting forces of utmost cold and utmost heat. The flames outside were hot, while the core of the flame was cold. It was a flame that had exceeded the scope of common sense. Moreover, it had no color and was transparent. But its power was so terrifying that it far surpassed Long Chen's expectations. The ice soul divine flame is ranked even higher than the heavenly rainbow flame. As expected, it lives up to its reputation. This is just a single rune of it, but it possesses the power to destroy heaven and earth. Based on Long Chen's estimation, this was not the true ice soul divine flame. It was a rune of the ice soul divine flame that had been sealed inside a piece of jade. Long Chen had met the heavenly rainbow fairy and had also seen how terrifying the heavenly rainbow flame was in her memories. If this ice soul divine flame was ranked above the heavenly rainbow flame, then it had to be even stronger. However, even Bai Fang didn't know the origins of this rune. He only knew how to activate it. Without the activation method, if it was forcibly opened, this rune would instantly detonate. Then no one could obtain it. Big Brother Long Chen, give it to me. Through that test just now, I found that it doesn't reject me. Let me slowly commune with it and see if I can merge with it, said he will linger. Before activating the Divine Jade, Long Chen had told Huo Linger to prepare herself. For her to say that she wasn't rejected by the Ice Soul, he was excited. If Huo Linger could control this rune and condense the Ice Soul power, then would he have to fear a third Heaven Stage World King? Search Navaloon, come for the original. Huo Linger, commune with it slowly. There's no rush to merge with it. I still urgently need you, said Long Chen. Huo Linger wasn't just helping him during battle. She had to be there for refining pills. If Huo Linger fell into slumber due to absorbing the ice soul divine flame, Long Chen would be affected in terms of both battle and cultivation. Right now, his situation was not favorable, so he had no choice but to be careful. One wrong step and he would lose his life. He didn't dare to be careless. Huo Linger obediently nodded. After taking the ice soul divine jade, she returned to the primal chaos space. The ice soul divine jade had been activated and Huo Linger could slowly absorb it. Although it was just a single rune of the ice soul divine flame, it was still enough to completely transform Huo Linger. As long as she learned how to use this rune, her combat power would soar to a level that even Long Chen couldn't estimate. Before this, when he was researching the lightning flames devour the heavens, he encountered a problem. That was that Huo Linger's power was clearly lower than Lei Linger's. Moreover, Lei Linger's control over her own power wasn't perfect enough, resulting in him not making any headway with the lightning flames devour the heavens. If Huo Linger merged with this rune, he trusted that with her powerful control she would be able to strike a balance. Then perhaps the true lightning flames devour the heavens could be unleashed. This ice soul divine flame rune's origins had to be extraordinary. That was the feeling that Long Chen got. Regretfully, the Bai family had declined, and other than the activation method, they hadn't managed to preserve anything else about it. In any case, though, reclaiming the ice soul divine jade could comfort the spirits of Bai Fang and Bai Rui. As for the soaring dragon company that had caused their deaths, he was in no rush to deal with them. 
he knew that they were definitely searching through the world for him. Ah, I'm rich. Only now did Long Chen have an opportunity to open the Soaring Dragon Company's treasury. After checking carefully, he cried out in excitement. No wonder people say that no one gets rich without unscrupulous money. As expected, robbing others really is the quickest shortcut to getting rich. Long Chen looked at the endless treasures within the treasury and was wild with delight. There were medicinal ingredients, pills, ancient tomes, divine weapons, and all kinds of treasures. They were endless. This iron case was its own space, and it was filled with treasures. They were all organized very clearly. Damn, they really have a full collection. They have every ingredient to refine the Violet Tower pill. Long Chen first checked the ingredients and found that they had a complete collection. Even the rare ingredients of the Violet Tower pill were present in decent quantities. No wonder the Soaring Dragon Company was said to be an existence that could challenge the Huayan Trading Company. Only after looking in their treasury did he understand just how frightening their wealth was. All kinds of cultivation techniques and secret tones were present, but Long Chen didn't even bother flipping through them. He couldn't bite off more than he could chew. He just had to focus on the nine-star hegemon body art. This weapon, Long Chen took out a halberd and gasped. This weapon had ancient runes carved into it, and they gave him a sense of immense pressure. This weapon seemed to have an ancient desolate beast sealed inside of it. Once its runes were activated, it would unleash terrifying power. This is probably a weapon specific to powerful world kings, a world domain divine item. Once such a divine weapon is activated at full power, it can destroy an entire domain. I wonder if it's true. Long Chen stared at the halberd with his heart pounding wildly. If that dark-faced Yushu had been wielding such a terrifying halberd, would Long Chen still have been a match for him? Long Chen carefully looked at where he had found this weapon. There were over 10,000 divine weapons, with the majority being king items. Furthermore, they were top-grade king items. There were also some rusty weapons whose item spirits had died. But many runes carved onto them were still clear. Long Chen estimated that some of these runes had research value, which was why they were kept. As for world domain divine items, there were three. One was the halberd in his hand, the other one was a warhammer, and the last one was a shield. Regretfully, only a powerful world king could unleash their potential. It was said that they possessed world domain energy, and only such a power could activate a world domain divine item. The discovery of the world domain divine items made Long Chen's heart grow a bit heavy. Now that he had arrived in the violet flame heaven, he experienced just how different the cultivators here were compared to the dark light heaven. Their resources were far more powerful. Suddenly, a rumbling sound came from behind him. Long Chen was startled. He then turned to see the Minghong saber quivering and the sheath's runes flickering. A powerful aura was undulating. Could it be? Long Chen was delighted. Chapter 3494 As the Minghong saber rumbled, a saber cry shook the heavens. At the same time, a sharp saber kai came through the sheath and pierced the surrounding mountains. The Minghong saber's aura was rapidly climbing, but after reaching a certain limit, it rebounded back as if something was shackling it. After that, saber images randomly shot out, piercing the void, disturbing heaven and earth. A powerful saber will then raged, wishing to shatter apart the ten thousand daos. The shackles were attacked over and over. Long Chen was delighted. The Minghong saber was trying to advance. After obtaining it, he had found that its sheath could absorb some mysterious energy from the body of slain experts to nourish the saber. The Minghong saber was originally a top-grade king item. If it advanced again, it would be a world domain divine item. This was a divine weapon capable of growth. Suddenly, 
the sabre came out of its sheath, slicing the heavens. As a result, a giant spatial crack appeared in the void and didn't heal for a long time. At that moment, a Ming-Ong sabre let out a heaven-shaking cry that was like a roar. The sabre cry echoed throughout heaven and earth over and over again. Its sharpness overflowed and an arrogant will rose, just like a lofty expert looking down on the rest of the world. It had finally broken free of the bindings of heaven and earth, advancing to become a world domain divine item. Sensing its terrifying aura, Long Chen was incredibly excited. The Ming Hong saber then flew over and Long Chen caught it. A bloodline connection formed between the two of them. He felt endless confidence now, and it stemmed from the Ming Hong saber. Although he wasn't a world king, the Ming Hong saber recognized him as its master. It fully trusted him to control it. Now, even if I encounter a world domain divine item, I don't need to fear it. Long Chen clenched the Ming Hong saber excitedly. He returned it to its sheath. Having just advanced, it had used up a great deal of energy. It wasn't suitable to use it for battle right now and should rest for a bit in the sheath. Long Chen patted it and smiled. In the future, us brothers will walk through the world, eating as much meat and drinking as much soup as we want. Long Chen would be in charge of killing experts, and it would be in charge of absorbing their energy. One saber and one man would both continuously grow stronger. After losing Dragonbone Evil Moon, he had finally found another reliable partner. The Minghong saber let out a light cry as if replying to him. Long Chen laughed. Putting it on his back, he flew off. He had caused too big of a disturbance here, so it wasn't a good idea to stay any longer. He then found another more secluded area. After resting for a day, he was once more in his peak condition. Hence, he went to a small city and bought a map. Only then did Long Chen learn that this place was called the Climbing Rain City and was still part of the Evergreen Prefecture. He hadn't expected a single prefecture of the Violet Flame Heaven to be so big. It was even bigger than the nine prefectures where the Academy was. Very quickly, Long Chen noticed something off. Some people were staring at him in shock. They clearly recognized him. Black robes and a saber on his back. Isn't that how Boss Long San dresses himself? Could this be him? A startled cry suddenly rang out. As soon as that person spoke, his companion beside him clapped a hand over his mouth as if afraid that Long Chen would kill him for speaking. With that person's shout, countless gazes turned toward Long Chen. Quite a few people were eager to test him to see if he really was the genuine article, but they also didn't dare to. Hey, can I ask how much money the Soaring Dragon Company has put on my head? Long Chen looked at those people indifferently. Three hundred million immortal king crystals and a world domain divine item. They will also receive the Soaring Dragon Company's golden VIP medal, forever receiving the protection of the Soaring Dragon Company. A young divine lord immediately answered Long Chen as if afraid that someone else would answer before him. Before this, they had only suspected this youngster to be Boss Long San. His appearance, clothes, and cultivation base matched the description. But they didn't dare to be sure. After all, Boss Long San had a bounty on his head, and the entire Soaring Dragon Company was looking for him. According to reason, he should be in hiding and have changed his appearance. He wouldn't be facing others so carelessly. Support bus that Navaloon come, however. Long Chen had essentially told them that he was the true boss Long Sen, so an uproar came from those experts. Of course, some of them were excited. After all, these young cultivators saw that Long Chen was the same as them, a divine lord, but he was able to do such heaven-shaking things. So, they all worshipped him, Navaloon, calm as the violet flame, heaven's heavenly dows were more complete. There were countless heavenly geniuses here. In the dark light heaven, you would count as a genius if you were a primal. 
but here they were everywhere. In fact, non-primals were so rare that they almost couldn't be found. The violet flame heaven was filled with heavenly geniuses, and thus the competition between them was also incredibly intense. Everyone felt a natural reverence for the strong. Hence, these disciples had no thoughts of capturing Long Chen. The difference was too great. Thus, they only felt reverence and curiosity toward him. Whatever he asked, they would naturally answer. Just that little amount of money. How stingy of the Soaring Dragon Company. In their treasury that I plundered, there are three world domain divine items and at least a billion immortal king crystals. As for the other treasures, I couldn't even be bothered to count them all. The Soaring Dragon Company's money really is hard to earn, sneered Long Chen. Countless startled cries rang out when he said this. The Soaring Dragon Company actually didn't mention that Long Chen had taken their treasury, so people were unaware of it. Now that Long Chen brought it up, their hearts pounded wildly. Boss Long San, you should quickly leave. Someone has definitely reported your arrival to the Soaring Dragon Company. Their experts will arrive soon, warned one woman kindly. Long Chen was wearing black robes, had a saber on his back, and his appearance was handsome enough to stand out. Adding on the halo of his new fame, countless female cultivators wished to see him. In the cultivation world, power was the greatest attraction. When you had power, it was all too easy to win other people's good opinions. The youngsters didn't wish for Long Chen to die here. Thus, they hoped that he would leave quickly. But some world kings in hiding were already starting to stealthily concentrate their powers. They were clearly willing to die for wealth. Unable to resist the allure of the bounty, they were preparing to take a risk. That's fine. The Soaring Dragon Company and I are now tied together. They won't let me off, but I also won't let them off. Boss Long San is already indifferent to life and death. I don't mind fighting to the death, said Long Chen with a faint smile. At this time, Long Chen walked to a spacious area in the city. This was a large plaza, and at the center was a transportation formation. It was the largest of the city's four transportation formations. HMPH, how laughable. You say such big words. But aren't you preparing to tuck your tail in and flee? Just then, a cold sneer rang out. The voice was full of disdain and provocation. However, the speaker didn't reveal himself. They hid, with only their voice resounding loudly throughout the plaza, making it impossible to tell where the voice came from. The next moment, Long Chen suddenly vanished, and the crowd cried out in shock. They then saw an elder dragged into the air with Long Chen's hand around his throat. A world king! Startled cries rang out. They recognized this elder. He was a sect master. Chapter 3495 What a fool! You can hide your voice, but can you hide your soul? And even if you can hide your soul, can you hide your hostility? Long Chen raised that elder by the throat like lifting a chicken. His expression was apathetic. Everyone was startled. This elder might not count as a peak expert in the city, but he was the sect master of a powerful sect, and many people recognized him. Who would have thought that this sect master would be unable to endure a single blow from Long Chen before falling into his hands? This sect master didn't even have the slightest ability to resist. Boss Sant, spare my life, the world king pleaded. You want to stall for time? That alone deserves death. Long Chen snorted. Just like that, the world king was blown apart into smithereens without being able to even grunt. You wanted to kill me. How could I spare you? Only your life is important, but my life isn't. Long Chen coldly looked at those specks that were the last evidence of this world king's existence. He sneered disdainfully. Long Chen's gaze then swept through the distant buildings, and some world kings hiding in the dark felt their hearts shake. Just now, 
They also thought about how to stall him when they saw him walking toward the transportation formation. It was that little bit of hesitation that saved their lives. They were secretly keeping an eye on Long Chen, but Long Chen's phantom-like movement art terrified them. None of them had seen how Long Chen had moved. After Long Chen killed that world king, they were woken up from their desire of obtaining the bounty. They had only been thinking of Long Chen's cultivation base, but had forgotten how he was a terrifying existence that had killed dozens of world kings. The death of that world king was like an alarm waking them up. Quite a few people felt a burst of fear. If they had also tried to stall for time just now, they would already be corpses. No, they wouldn't even have a corpse left. As for the youngsters, at the same time as they were shocked, they were also inspired. The rumors were actually true. At the Divine Lord realm, Long Chen was capable of crossing two major realms to kill world kings. Furthermore, he killed them with just the wave of his hand, as if it was effortless. This scene caused their blood to burn with excitement. Humans were a very curious life form. Even if they themselves were lacking, seeing someone with the same cultivation base as them be a supreme expert, they would think that one day, they might also become like that. It can be hard to make great work when it's stolen from Navaloon, calm although inside. They knew that such a thing was almost impossible. They had a living example like Boss Long San right in front of them. Hence, they felt full of hope. That was especially true when they saw those world kings being so suppressed that they didn't even dare to make a sound. They all felt like Boss Long San was their representative. Watching him kill that world king was both satisfying and addicting. Boss Long San, lead quickly. The Soaring Dragon Company wants to capture you. They'll definitely come prepared, warned someone. Long Chen smiled and nodded in thanks toward that person. He had reached the transportation formation. Countless young men and women waved excitedly to him. They were already very satisfied to have seen this legendary boss Long Sen. However, while Long Chen stepped onto the transportation formation, no one activated it. Long Chen simply stood there, not activating it either. Boss Long Sen, do you not know how to activate it? Do you want this junior brother to help? asked one brave soul. Long Chen smiled. This youth was merely in the Four Peak Realm, and he looked at Long Chen worshipfully. This fellow was definitely still too young. He didn't realize that helping Long Chen escape would draw the wrath of the Soaring Dragon Company. Long Chen then flicked his finger, and a round thing flew toward that youth. Feeling stunned, he extended his hand and caught it. His jaw then dropped. It was a lily seed filled with water kai. This throning water element energy delighted the youth. The water lily seed of the devil I water lily. Someone cried out, recognizing the origin of this object. This youth was a water element cultivator, but his aptitude wasn't particularly high, so this water lily seed would greatly improve his aptitude, although it wouldn't be to the point of changing his fate in a heaven-defying way. It was already a huge opportunity for him. Everyone get back, ordered Long Chen suddenly. Everyone was startled, but they still respected his order, and they retreated. Long Chen's gaze was locked onto the transportation formation, like a cheetah waiting for his prey to appear. The other experts stared at him, seemingly understanding what he was doing now. Expressions of disbelief came across their faces. Suddenly, the transportation formation unleashed a ripple. It was at this moment that the prepared Long Chen unleashed a punch on the formation. Boom! The transportation formation exploded, and countless fragments of space-time flew about. A black hole then appeared where the transportation formation was. Dozens of figures appeared within that black hole, but those figures had just appeared when they were devoured. These people were world kings. One of them was precisely that dark-faced third heaven stage world king from before, and there were also two other experts with similar auras to him. 
When they received the information, they immediately used transportation formations to arrive here. However, they hadn't expected Long Chen to have long since been waiting for them. The moment they came out, Long Chen destroyed the transportation formation, and they were sucked into the chaotic flow of space. The black hole had countless spatial blades spinning within it. Seeing them, those ordinary world kings panicked and were blown apart by those spatial winds, turning into nothingness. Long Chen had personally experienced just how terrifying these spatial blades in the chaotic flow of space were. Some of the larger ones simply couldn't be blocked. Back then, Long Chen only managed to see the spatial blades because he had opened his purgatory eyes. Now, he could still see them clearly without using the purgatory eyes due to how familiar he was with their auras. A giant spatial blade was silently approaching them now. However, these world kings were still completely unaware. Long Chen couldn't help tilting his body slightly to the left, as if he was tilting that spatial blade's path into striking them. Suddenly, that dark-faced elder's expression changed. He couldn't see the giant spatial blade, but he sensed the danger, so he took out a golden rod. This was a world domain divine weapon. His armor had been half destroyed by Long Chen and had yet to recover, so he had found a world domain divine weapon for himself in the meantime. Attack together, that elder shouted. Although they couldn't see the spatial blades, their sense of danger was sharp. They could tell from which direction the danger was coming. The dark-faced elder's golden rod then smashed into the spatial blade. However, Long Chen found it curious that the elder's new world domain divine weapon didn't react. No runes activated on it. Long Chen was unaware that this dark-faced elder was completely unable to activate this weapon's runes. The golden rod simply smashed into the spatial blade just like that. The other third Heaven Stage World Kings also attacked, and three divine weapons struck at once. Boop. Within the endless darkness, a sphere of light erupted. What Long Chen hadn't expected was for the golden rod to explode when it smashed into the spatial blade. The immense force directly blew apart the nearby world kings, who were still struggling. As for the third Heaven Stage world kings, they were left bloody and badly battered. They shot out of the black hole like shooting stars from the explosion. However, Long Chen had been waiting. The Minghong saber slashed out, accurately striking the dark-faced elder. That elder's arms had been destroyed, resulting in his armor being crippled. Now, he was flying out involuntarily, completely unable to dodge, so he was directly killed by Long Chen's strike. You wanted Boss San's life. Today, Boss San will take your lives first. Long Chen snorted, and shot toward the other two-third Heaven Stage World Kings. Chapter 3496 The other two-third Heaven Stage World Kings were sent flying by that giant spatial blade. The spatial blade's power was absolutely terrifying. Not only did it destroy their divine weapons, but their bodies also became covered in cracks. They almost lost their physical bodies. Seeing Long Chen charging over, they turned green. Space was still chaotic, so they couldn't even use transportation talismans. With no other way out, they both coughed up a mouthful of blood. Blood Kai then wrapped around them, and they transformed into two blood-colored streaks of light that shot off in opposite directions. These third Heaven Stage World Kings actually used the blood evasion art once more. The main thing was that they had no other choice. The spatial blade had gravely wounded them, and they couldn't fight Long Chen in this state. That would purely be sending themselves to their deaths. After that, lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back, and he shot toward the closer World King. Others only saw a streak of blood-colored light and a streak of lightning chasing. In just a breath's time, the lightning caught up. Um, 
that Third Heaven Stage World King was ultimately unable to escape Long Chen's grasp. He was killed in body and spirit. Long Chen then turned to the direction the other World King had escaped in. He was long gone, so Long Chen slowly sheathed the Minghong saber. He couldn't be bothered to chase. Even if he did catch up, it would be useless. Once that World King left this region, the spatial fluctuations would stabilize, and he could escape with a transportation talisman. At this time, the black hole that was the remains of the transportation formation slowly closed. It was like a gaping maw that was finally closing. It was this mouth that had almost wiped out the army from the Soaring Dragon Company that had come. Dozens of World Kings with three Third Heaven Stage World Kings. In the end, only one barely managed to escape. The others all died. Those who witnessed this shocking turn of events finally understood what true terror was, what it meant to be unbound by any law or heaven. This was Boss Longsan. Those people who had had some wicked thoughts for Long Chen found themselves covered in cold sweat. It felt like they had almost lost their lives. Who is the city lord? Long Chen returned to the city. The city lord is this old man. May I know what instructions Boss Long San has for me? A world king stepped forward. Here is a trunk of immortal king crystals. It can count as your compensation. It should be enough to repair your transportation formation, right? Long Chen tossed out a trunk. The elder opened it and found ten million immortal king crystals. He was delighted but hastily said, just three million is enough. The rest is to treat all the friends within the city to food and drink. This money was stolen anyway, so it doesn't hurt me to spend it. For disturbing everyone, a bit of food and drink is the least I can do. Everyone, I hope we will meet again in this ever-changing world. Long Chen cupped his fists toward everyone and transformed into a bolt of lightning, vanishing from sight. The city lord had originally been worried. The transportation formation was broken, and this money would probably have to come out of the city's savings. He definitely didn't dare to ask Long Chen for money. However, he hadn't expected Long Chen to toss out ten million Immortal King crystals. He was extremely generous, making the city lord form a good opinion of him. The remaining seven million Immortal King crystals were spent just as Long Chen instructed. All the restaurants provided the city's experts with free food and drink. It took over ten days to use up all the seven million Immortal King crystals. At the same time as they drank, and eight. They also praised Long Chen for robbing the rich to feed the poor. After all, after eating with his money, they wouldn't feel good to say anything bad about Long Chen. As a result, this robber Long Chen ended up with a good reputation that rapidly spread. Countless youngsters that had seen Long Chen bragged about how they had seen the legendary boss Long San, and how boss Long San had even treated them to a meal. Well, it wasn't just a meal, but food for over a week. Youngsters were all restless. Once their worship for an expert reached a certain extent, they would start to imitate them. As a result, overnight, people wearing black robes with sabers on their backs filled the streets. This fad became extremely popular. Old fellow, what are you doing? Your beard's already white. Boss Long San is so handsome and young. Is he a decrepit old man like you? An elder also joined in the fun, only to be cursed at by others. You're imitating Boss Long San when he's young, but I'm imitating when he's old. So what? Don't like it, retorted the elder righteously. Countless experts in black robes and with sabers on their backs pointed out each other's flaws in their imitation. Quite a few brawls broke out, and blood began to flow endlessly. As for the Soaring Dragon Company, they were enraged. Such an imitation was essentially a silent slap in their face. 
someone who had stolen the Soaring Dragon Company's treasury and killed so many of their experts had actually become the idol worshipped by countless youngsters, becoming a target for them to pursue. This was saying that Long Chen's actions were correct. The Soaring Dragon Company went from the victims to simply people who deserved to be punished. Navaloon calm the Soaring Dragon Company applied pressure on the major powers, but people were allowed to wear whatever they wanted. They couldn't forcibly restrict the way they dressed. Under the Soaring Dragon Company's pressure, the various large sects had no choice but to warn their disciples not to go too far. However, based on the so-called principle of barefoot people weren't afraid of those with shoes, there were always rogue cultivators without sects, and they usually had no misgivings. They were still wearing whatever they wanted. With those rogue cultivators having no misgivings, some sect disciples also decided that they didn't care about their misgivings. These youngsters could easily end up having their blood rush to their heads. The rather conceited men in particular liked to dress this way because it was this kind of attire that particularly drew the attention of female cultivators. Although those female cultivators also knew that the people dressing like this were all fakes, they couldn't help giving them a second glance. What if it really was Boss Long San? It was this second glance that caused countless male disciples to preen like peacocks. They used Long Chen's attire to draw the attention of female cultivators. This attire grew increasingly popular and spread along with the name of Boss Long Sen. The Soaring Dragon Company was searching crazily for Long Chen. As for Long Chen, he was still living happily, swaggering through the various large cities and purchasing medicinal ingredients. The Soaring Dragon Company's experts had surrounded him several times but had never been able to stop him. When there were too many, he would simply flee. With his speed, others were simply unable to catch him. If the other side wasn't much stronger than him, then he would conveniently kill a few. In any case, the one to suffer was always the Soaring Dragon Company. They were helpless to stop Long Chen. Find the original at Navaloon, called Long Chen, was trying to buy the medicinal ingredients for the Violet Tower pill. But this Starfield's merchants were practically all related to the Soaring Dragon Company. They didn't sell him anything. Those merchants hadn't provoked him, so Long Chen was unable to rob them. Feeling helpless, Long Chen rushed through the Soaring Dragon Company's strongholds, snatching up their treasuries. They refused to sell to him. Then he would take what he wanted himself. The entire star field became chaotic, and the Soaring Dragon Company almost went insane. Long Chen would rip out dozens of their treasuries in just a few days. Their formations were unable to stop him. On this day, it was said that the Soaring Dragon Company had sent out four terrifying experts, all mid-stage world kings, just to deal with Long Chen. However, they had just arrived when Long Chen left this star field. His goal was another place, the chaotic star sea. Chapter 3497 Long Chen headed toward the chaotic star sea. It wasn't to run, but because the place that he was in didn't have the Huayun Trading Company. He had stolen so much, but he was unable to exchange what he had taken for what he needed. The other aspect was that the chaotic Star Sea had the second hall of the Nine Underworld Hall. The Nine Underworld Hall had countless branches. Although they didn't have as many as the Bloodkill Hall, they were still spread throughout the land. The Nine Underworld Hall had nine major halls, numbered one to nine. They were the nine largest halls, overseeing all the branch halls within the nine heavens and ten lands. The nine underworld halls second hall was found within the violet flame heavens chaotic star sea. Furthermore, beneath the second halls, foundation stone lay an ancient mirror that reflected the entire world. Whether it was the immortal world or the mortal world, everything was under its purview. This mirror was called the Devil Peering Mirror. The devil that it referred to was the Nine Star Heirs. The Nine Underworld Hall, the Bloodkill Hall, the Martial God Hall, 
and the sacred pill hole all treated nine star heirs as devils pushing them to a position opposing all humanity it was said that public opinion was powerful enough to melt metal perhaps if one person or a hundred people said something it wouldn't have any power but when millions and millions of people said the same thing and it was said for millions of years over and over again the nine star heirs were gradually turned into devils many people were imperceptibly influenced to feel like nine star heirs were devils that would topple the world the devil peering mirror was a priceless treasure that the nine underworld hall used to hunt down nine star heirs with it they could easily discover nine star heirs once they were found a large group of nine underworld hunters would be sent to kill them long chen's greatest goal in coming to the violet flame heaven was to destroy this hateful mirror he would blind the nine underworld hall's eyes we are not alone come find us on google the violet flame heaven was gigantic just crossing a single star field took him almost half a month furthermore when he reached the chaotic star sea he actually had to sit on a world crossing flying boat the world crossing flying boat was specifically used for crossing the barrier between worlds this time long chen asked first and it was only once he learned that it didn't belong to the soaring dragon company that he got on it as the flying boat passed through the sea of stars long chen could see currents flowing around the boat these currents were like heavenly rivers leaving this star field in chaos this was long chen's first time on a world crossing flying boat it was all his first time above the heavens watching the river of stars below him through the window on the flying boat he could clearly see the chaotic star clouds outside long chen had long since learned that every time he crossed world domains he would enter a different star but because his body was in it he didn't know the appearance of a world if it was contained only now did he realize that while stars might look far off due to the laws of two worlds growing close space would twist when they were close there were invisible paths that were easy to pass through on the other hand some stars seemed near but due to possessing different laws traveling between them was impossible despite being almost within reach they were as far as the other side of the world to go to such a place it was necessary to detour across other stars a distance that looked close might not necessarily be close sometimes the closest path between two points wasn't always a straight line thankfully many flying boats were carrying people to the chaotic star sea it was very convenient although the soaring dragon company had targeted long chen with a sky-high bounty there was nothing stopping long chen from coming and going through any city although the soaring dragon company was enormous they were businessmen so they didn't have such authority thus long chen had some understanding of the soaring dragon company and wasn't afraid of them if he could beat them he'd fight if he couldn't then he'd run in any case with his speed no one could catch up to him they were powerless the flying boat quickly descended into a chaotic flow of the star field the flying boat stopped and then it slowly drifted with the waves of a strange power through several days on that current they safely reached the edge of a star once they were close to the star the river of stars in the sky appeared once more influenced by the laws of the world they could only see the world before them the flying boat stopped in an ancient city the city wasn't large but it was a busy place on the flying boat an expert kindly warned everyone to be cautious now that they had entered the chaotic region they shouldn't easily trust others or they could easily lose their lives the chaotic star sea was called that due to two things one was that this star field was in a special spot the chaotic current of the nine heavens crossed each other here resulting in the heavenly dows here being chaotic the other reason was due to this place being lawless all kinds of large races had stations here 
and even some of the dark world's life forms occasionally appeared. Thus, this place was particularly disorderly. Other than the territories protected by supreme sects, the other places were completely lawless. It was a bit similar to the vile dragon domain, but when the two were compared, the vile dragon domain couldn't be counted for anything. The chaotic star sea had the human race, demonic beasts, beast races, spirit races, devil races, nether races, and even experts of the undying race. Legend had it that even extremely mysterious experts of the ghost Tao would appear. Also, the chaotic star sea's position was particularly special. This was a mixed land, with all kinds of powers weaving through this place. These powers brought with them special laws of the heavenly Tao's. Metal, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, lightning, light, dark, countless energies piled on top of each other here. Thus, the expert here began to keep track of where these powers would flare and calculate when the next eruptions would be, as well as the scale of the eruptions. As a result, people could choose the right locations and times for their own cultivation here. In the past few years in particular, people were drawn over. Every tens of thousands of years, there would be an energy storm that drew over countless monsters. These monsters all had very odd tempers. Without saying a word, they would start a slaughter. Thus, the chaotic star sea was an ancient place, but didn't actually possess many ancient buildings. That was because large battles often erupted here. While the chaotic star sea could be considered a wonderful heaven, it could also be considered hell. Whether it was heaven or hell depended on a person's power. That senior kindly warned them, saying that the chaotic star sea was unfathomably deep. Those who drowned were always those that thought themselves strong swimmers. When everyone got off the boat, they ignored the people that came to greet them. Those were not good people. Once they started a conversation with them, it would bring endless trouble. They might even lose their lives. Friend, let me explain the map of the chaotic star sea. Brother, this is the latest news on the energy fields here. No matter what kind of cultivator you are, you'll find what you need. Brothers, I see that you're especially talented. Your bones are marvelous. My ardent sun gang is recruiting new talent. If you join our ardent sun gang, you will definitely be able to eat good food and drink strong drinks. Long Chen couldn't even be bothered to pay attention to these people. He pushed through this crowd, heading straight toward the transportation formation. Beya! Suddenly, a woman let out a sharp cry and fell into Long Chen's embrace. He was startled and about to push her off when she broke out into curses. Are you blind? You dare to take advantage of me. Chapter 3498, Sir. Long Chen started. Who is Sir? Do you not see that I am a woman? Raged that person. If you didn't say, I really wouldn't be able to tell. Long Chen shook his head. This person was short and thick. Within the crowd, it really was difficult to tell if she was a man or a woman. Furthermore, her voice was very rough. Cut the crap. You dared to take advantage of me. Today, if you don't pay thirty immortal king crystals, don't even think about leaving this place. The woman pointed her finger, which was as thick as a summer radish at Long Chen. Extortion? Long Chen frowned. Little fellow, I clearly saw you touched her just now. Your taste is pretty heavy. Well, just spend the money and treat it as a lesson. A man from the side joined in. He had a sharp mouth and monkey cheeks. The people who had just gotten off of the boat with Long Chen looked at him sympathetically. It seemed that since Long Chen's cultivation base was the lowest and he looked scholarly and weak, he was the first target of these people. They were going to force him to pay. Theoretically, Long Chen could just pay the thirty immortal king crystals and be done with it. But on the flying boat, an expert had given them pointers. If they took out any immortal king crystals, 
then all kinds of extortions would come until you had to squeeze out even your bone marrow. If you encountered such a person, it would be best to run away. If you couldn't, then hopefully you could stake your status and scare them off. That kind elder had said that they could always pretend to be disciples from some major forces. They should act a bit more tyrannical to scare the swindlers off. If they tossed out one or two immortal king crystals with the attitude of shooing off beggars, then both sides could take a step back. The other side clearly knew that you might just be acting, but they were also afraid of kicking an iron board. Thus, they would mostly choose to keep the peace. Getting one or two immortal king crystals was also profitable. It was just a play, but if you didn't act it out properly and the other side saw through you, then you could only count yourself as unlucky. The people on the boat were just strangers who had briefly traveled together. Hence, they naturally didn't speak up for Long Chen and just watched from a distance, trying to avoid falling for similar scams themselves. Search Noveloon, come for the original. Also, the few guards that were standing here had long since grown numb to such things and didn't care. In truth, they wouldn't care no matter what because they were also snakes. This kind of extortion came with benefits for them as well. When it comes to money, I do have quite a bit, said Long Chen with embarrassment. Upon hearing that, the woman's eyes brightened as did the eyes of the surrounding people. It seemed that this person was a fat sheep with no experience at all. He even said that he had money. But I don't want to give it to you. So what can we do? Finished Long Chen. Brett, are you looking to die? Do you know what kind of place this is? Bart the fierce-looking expert. When they heard this person shout, the others hastily created an open space for him. Dozens of immortal kings instantly surrounded Long Chen. Brett, don't regret it when it is too late. The chaotic star sea has its own rules. Also, I've changed plans. You've touched me, and without three thousand immortal king crystals, don't even think about leaving this place alive, sneered the first woman. Hearing that Long Chen had money, she immediately increased her demand. I really don't understand. Do you not have the slightest respect in your heart? Do you know that you are gambling with your lives like this? You think that this is a shortcut without realizing that the shortcut is a gamble. No matter how many times you experienced the sweet taste of victory, just one loss and you'll never make a comeback. Are you really so foolish? Long Chen sighed. Seeing that Long Chen was starting to talk reason with these fiends, Countless people shook their heads. Was this person a bookworm? In their view, he was like a sheep trying to advise hungry wolves to become vegetarians. Who's going to listen to your crap? Hand over the money or die. The woman finally lost her patience and reached out to grab Long Chen's collar. Her hand had just extended when a cold light flew out. After that, that woman shrieked like a pig being slaughtered. Her arm that was like a pig's trotter flew out. Cold light continued to flash. When it was gone, every person around Long Chen had a bloody hole in their head. Other than that fat woman and the monkey-faced man, everyone around Long Chen was dead. A sword cultivator. The experts present were all shocked. The moment Long Chen made his move, the sharp sword intense at their souls, making their minds dazed. At that moment, they felt like their lives were no longer their own and could be taken by Long Chen at will. The noisy world instantly fell silent. People didn't even dare to move. They had originally thought that with Long Chen's slim figure and low cultivation base, the giant saber on his back had to be nothing more than an accessory to scare others. They had even felt it to be comical. But once he attacked, his sword will make everyone jump. That woman was so scared that she even forgot to shout or cry. She just stared in horror at him. I really don't understand you. In this dangerous cultivation world, you carry no respect in your heart. For the tiniest of profits, you don't mind bullying others, 
even killing them for money. Was it worth it? Long Chen looked at her. Senior, don't kill me, don't kill me. I'll give you money, I'll give you all my money. The woman finally cried, her snot and mucus flying out. She reached out to touch her spatial ring. But the next moment, Long Chen's sword flashed and his sword kai pierced her head. As she collapsed on the ground limply, the spatial ring on her hand slowly rolled off. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to waste words on her. He even used a sword because he felt that his saber would be wasted on such people. It was practically an insult to the Minghong saber. He had actually wanted to be a peaceful person. After all, he had more important things to do here, and so he needed to be a bit more low-key. However, seeing their wretched faces, what he had planned to do and what he had done now had two completely different conclusions. In the end, his intelligence was still unable to beat his instinct. Senior, don't kill me. I... That monkey-faced man was so scared that his whole body turned limp. I won't kill you, said Long Chen indifferently. Many thanks, senior, many thanks, but all of a sudden, Long Chen kicked his danshan. As a result, he coughed up a mouthful of blood, and everyone felt his cultivation base instantly turned to nothing. Everyone's heart pounded. This kick had crippled this man's cultivation base. In this lifetime, he would never be able to cultivate again. He had become a cripple. You said that you saw me touch her. Then your eyes are useless. Ah! Uh, the monkey-faced man screamed as his eyes were crushed by Long Chen. The seemingly scholarly black-robed man was actually so vicious. They had all misjudged him. Suddenly, the crowd surged, and a new group of people came charging in ferociously, with their leader being a half-step world king, who dares to a streak of sword light flew over, and that person's body quivered. His head then fell to the ground. I am Boss Long San. I'm fresh off the boat, and I'll ask for some extra care from all of you. Long Chen didn't even look back. After killing the half-step world king, he indifferently walked away, leaving behind a group of dumbstruck people, Navalu Calm. Chapter 3499 Long Chen originally didn't want to kill people but he felt like the dark energy inside his body was starting to grow active again. If he continued to endure, that dark energy would continuously accumulate. Furthermore, this dark energy was the nutrition that his heart devil used to grow. Navalum, come if he wanted to contain the growth of his heart devil. He had to calm his mind, and he shouldn't keep his negative emotions inside. It was the only way to suppress his heart devil, and control it. Although he had the mission to destroy the devil peering mirror, he couldn't neglect his own growth either. He had to do both things at once. His original plan was to sneak into the Nine Underworld Hall, but now that he knew about the details, there was no way he could do it. If he wanted to enter the Nine Underworld Hall, he would have to be a disciple of the Nine Underworld Hall. All the disciples had to offer worship to the hallmaster, to have Long Chen kneel to Lio Benkeng. How could that be possible? Furthermore, the nine underworld hall's people were assassins, so the rules were very strict. Ignoring whether or not he could muddle his way in, even if he could, it would require too many preparations. He didn't have that much time. Right now, Long Chen didn't have any plans, so he could only take things step by step. He also knew that even without the matter with the Soaring Dragon Company, there was no way he could conceal his tracks. The Nine Underworld Hall's information network was top tier. As long as he appeared somewhere, the Nine Underworld Hall couldn't possibly fail to find out, unless he disguised his status by changing his appearance. Unfortunately, he found himself having an extremely bad reaction toward such conduct. He didn't know if he detested it personally, or if that untouchable, arrogant will inside his soul refused to allow him to do so. Ultimately, he chose to descend upon the violet flame heaven under the identity of Boss Longsan. 
As for the rest, he wasn't in the mood to think that much. The chaotic star C, also called the chaotic star field, had 37 prefectures, 4 seas, 6 islands, and 11 chaos domains. The so-called chaos domains were places where space was unstable. All kinds of energy mixed together there, and many experts crossed heavens specifically to come to the chaos domains. As long as they could grasp the energies that appeared there, they could use them to temper themselves. These energies were said to be the source energies from which the nine heavens and ten lands were produced. Comprehending these energies was extremely beneficial, as they allowed one to peer into the mysterious workings of the nine heavens. Legend had it that once a person comprehended this secret, it was essentially like controlling the true heavenly Tao's. They would be able to control all the energies of the nine heavens and ten lands, becoming the master of the world. However, the chaos domains were very dangerous. One moment, it might be like spring with flowers blooming and life energy thrumming. But the next moment, a star might fall on you, and lava might burst out of the sky. If you had bad luck, a merciless storm could suddenly descend and seal everything in ice. Legend had it that the chaos domains were created by the chaotic flows of an ancient battle. The laws of the nine heavens had yet to heal even now, so it could be said that the chaos domains were one of the wounds left behind on the nine heavens and ten lands. A quick look at Navloon Calm will leave you more fulfilled. However, this wound also brought endless opportunities to people. Even though they were very dangerous, cultivators continued to throw themselves toward them. Long Chen went directly to a place called the Yu Prefecture. He had learned that this was a peaceful place because it was controlled by the entity that he was very familiar with, the Huayan Trading Company. Right now, the thing that gave him the greatest sense of ease from outside was the Huayan Trading Company. Even so, Zhen Wenlong still had many things to deal with in the dark light heaven, so he had to finish those things before he could follow Long Chen. However, he said that any business in the Huayan Trading Company could be trusted. Long Chen could be brazen enough to do his regular large-scale trades. Although the success of those trades would have nothing to do with Zhen Wenlong, he didn't mind. He had to first deal with all the things on his plate before he could leave. Long Chen had also given him many things to do in the dark light heaven. Hence, he truly didn't have the ability to follow Long Chen into the violet flame heaven yet. When Long Chen entered the Yu Prefecture, he could clearly feel that the atmosphere was completely different. The people walking the streets were mostly amicable. There were no random fights or brawls on the streets or people trying to come up and scam you. Furthermore, in front of the transportation formation were disciples of the Huayan Trading Company patiently explaining the situation of the Yu Prefecture to newcomers. They would answer all questions, and there was nothing to nitpick about their attitude. However, not that far away, Long Chen also saw four cold-faced experts with weapons on their backs. Long Chen smiled. Those were for the people who didn't respect the rules. Once everyone else was done asking their questions, Long Chen stepped forward. I want to see your president. Long Chen handed over a tablet to a woman, and she was startled when she saw it. She hastily said, Sir is a violet gold guest of the Huayan Trading Company. My apologies, I'll immediately ask for the president to come by. No need. I'm old friends with your Huayan Trading Company, and there's no need for all those manners. I'm just looking for someone, so if you could just bring me over to them, that will save us a great deal of time, said Long Chen. This violet gold card was the only one in Zheng Wenlong's possession. It was the most precious VIP card that he could give. At his level, he was only authorized to give away a single one. With this card, Long Chen could ask for help from anywhere the Huayan Trading Company existed. 
as long as it didn't betray the Huayan Trading Company's principles, they definitely wouldn't reject him. Long Chen was quickly sent to the Huayan Trading Company's headquarters in the Yu Prefecture. After that, Long Chen was surprised to see that their president was actually a woman who looked to be in her thirties. So, sir, is Mr. Long Chen. I didn't expect, sir, to be such a promising youngster. Meeting you today is the blessing of three lifetimes. This little one is Kai Fang. Greetings to Mr. Long Chen. This world king didn't stand on any airs. Although she was a woman, she didn't put on any affectation, simply polite and poised. When she smiled in particular, it was like a spring breeze, feeling very amiable. President Kai Fang is courteous. This little one is a newcomer and will need to ask for some extra care. May I ask how you learned this little one's name? Asked Long Chen. Kai Fan laughed. There are only 3,600 violet gold cards that the Huayan Trading Company distributed. The majority are given to sects and major families and such, and only 217 are given to specific people. We keep a record of every violet gold card, and as president, I must firmly memorize that record. After all, you are the people that we depend on for our livelihood. I wouldn't dare to neglect you. Other than that, have you forgotten? You asked us to disseminate a certain piece of information before. Long Chen smiled. The Huayan Trading Company's people truly had a good upbringing. No matter what their status, they gave people a very comfortable feeling. After that, the two of them sat down, and Kai Fang personally poured tea for Long Chen. He thought about stopping her, but he felt like that would be awkward. Kai Fang smiled and said that it was fine, so Long Chen could only thank her. Mr. Long Chen, you did some heaven-shaking things as soon as you set foot in the violet flame heaven. You destroyed the Soaring Dragon Company's dock and their stronghold in the Evergreen Prefecture. You even plundered several of their strongholds. I simply prostrate myself in admiration toward you. Let me use this tea as wine to toast to you. Kai Fang raised her teacup toward Long Chen. Long Chen was startled. The Huayan Trading Company's information network was so vast. They actually knew all of this. Long Chen then raised his cup, touching it to Kai Fang's cup before drinking it. Ha ha ha, amazing, absolutely amazing. Kai Fang suddenly laughed wantonly, and her refined air completely vanished. Long Chen was startled. My apologies. Seeing the Soaring Dragon Company suffer such a loss, I'm just too happy. They've finally faced their tribulation. Kai Fang hastily reigned in her emotions when she saw Long Chen looking at her oddly. It seems that you knew about the matter of the fiend devil eye. Long Chen looked at Kai Fang in disbelief. Chapter 3500 With you being a violet gold card carrier, we can have absolute trust in you. I don't want to lie to you. We truly did know about this matter. Back when the Soaring Dragon Company lowered their price to suppress us, we already sensed that something was wrong. Although we are all businessmen, our Huayan Trading Company strictly abides by our bottom line. But some businessmen are scum amongst businessmen. The path between the violet flame heaven and the dark light heaven is very long. Moreover, the weather is extreme. Storms can arise out of nowhere and we also need to deal with the attacks of numerous sea demons. It costs a great deal. Thus, when we ferry people across, we are basically making no money. It is more of a responsibility. However, the Soaring Dragon Company joined forces with the other major companies to lower the price and suppress us. They also made up false accusations against us, ruining our reputation. The Soaring Trading Company shouted loudly that they were willing to take a loss to ferry people across, so the people that were unaware of the truth really thought that our Huayan Trading Company was overcharging to carry them across. They began to grow dissatisfied with us. At that time, I advocated announcing the truth to the public, 
showing people our revenue and costs for transporting them. But the higher-ups refused. They even ordered me to stop the shipping route, sighed Kai Fang. Clearly, she did not understand the logic behind the higher-ups' decision. Explaining would be meaningless. People only see the immortal king crystals that they worked hard for flying out of their hands. If you were to do that, you would only land deeper in the Soaring Dragon Company's scheme. You showed some proof, and they'd quickly show their own proof, pointing out how you vastly inflated the costs. People don't know the truth. They will only care about who can save them the most money and not who is more worthy of trust, said Long Chen. Kai Fang looked at him with some astonishment. Mr. Long Chen really is wise. I didn't think about those points. Long Chen shook his head. It's not wisdom. It's simply experience. President, you are used to carrying out your business in an above-board manner. You feel like you can tell others the truth and it will convince them. You underestimate how shameless the other side is. The Huayun Trading Company's integrity was its golden signboard. From top to bottom, they viewed this integrity as more important than even their own lives. Clearly, this Kai Fain might be the president, but she was not experienced with unscrupulous businessmen and their malicious plays. Then it seems that I wrongly blamed the higher ups. Thank you for explaining this to me, thanked Kai Fang before continuing. You mentioned the fiend Devil Eye. We knew of it. Every time we crossed the core region, the fiend Devil Eye would appear. However, it has never made things hard on us. It was only after the Soaring Dragon Company appeared that it started to change. The terrifying existence told us that every time we crossed, we had to offer it enough sacrifices or it would make things hard on our ships. The sacrifices were to be the crystal cores of demonic beasts, and they had to be the crystal cores of World King demonic beasts. We were not making any money from this responsibility. And adding on this tribute, we would be losing money. Ignoring how we were losing money, we were even misunderstood by others. Hence, the higher-ups decided to stop ferrying cultivators and only ferry goods. That way, we could get along. In the end, the Soaring Dragon Company monopolized the ferry business. Without us as competition, they started to do whatever they pleased, using all kinds of embezzlement that betrayed the essence of business. Mr. Long Chen, did you launch such a spirited counterattack because you couldn't bear watching them act this way, resulting in this conflict? Long Chen was startled. Did your information only include this much? Now, it was Kai Fang's turn to be startled. What is it? My enmity with the Soaring Dragon Company doesn't stop there. The reason I was so vicious is because they truly did something that infuriates even the heavens. Long Chen explained what had happened with the fiend Devil Eye and how everyone was sacrificed. Kai Fang stood in shock. When she heard that the Soaring Dragon Company offered the lives of millions of people as sacrifices, to pass through the fiend devil eye, flames of fury raged in her eyes. They are animals, raged Kai Fang. Lom Chen said, after hearing your story, clearly the Soaring Dragon Company is in collusion with the fiend devil eye. Those so-called tributes that it demanded were a simple trick to force you to give up on that business. Then, the Soaring Dragon Company would monopolize it and would be able to do whatever they pleased without others being aware. Furthermore, I feel like this collaboration is not limited to just the fiend devil I. Perhaps there is an even greater scheme. But as for what exactly they are thinking, no one knows. I must report this to the higher-ups immediately. Kai Fang grew grave. We are Navaloon. Come find us on Google. Long Chen nodded. I trust that the Huayun Trading Company's higher-ups will attach great importance to this. Other than that, I mostly came here to buy some things. Is it convenient to do so right now? Hearing that question, Kai Fang laughed. 
my Huayan Trading Company deals with business. When is it not convenient, even if the origin of the items is a bit controversial, as long as they aren't ill-gotten wealth or gains, my Huayan Trading Company will not mind taking them in. Long Chen also smiled. It seemed that Kai Fang had guessed his goal. Originally, he was a bit worried that the Huayan Trading Company would find these things taboo, but it seemed that he had overthought it. Long Chen didn't stand on courtesy, and directly tossed out the list of ingredients that he needed. Kai Fang immediately sent someone to handle them. It went without saying that the Huayan Trading Company was extremely efficient. In just a short instance, sticks worth of time, all the ingredients that Long Chen wanted were gathered. This is everything from our storehouse, and there are other storehouses that we have to go through. I will go through the various large storehouses, but that will take three to five days, said Kai Fang Navalun Kan Long Chen hastily said his thanks. Coming to the Huayan Trading Company truly had been the right decision. Their collection was very complete. Long Chen estimated that these ingredients would be enough to refine two to three hundred thousand violet flame pills. However, he also estimated that this wouldn't be enough for him. He then told her that he wanted as many of these ingredients as possible. Naturally, he also traded what he had. He took out all the medicinal pills that he had stolen. Perhaps he would have a use for other things, but when it came to medicinal pills, he didn't want any. The medicinal pills from multiple treasuries of the Soaring Dragon Company this was an astonishing amount with equally astonishing value. However, estimating their value would take a great deal of time. Wang Chen conducted his business with Kai Fang the same way as he did with Zheng Wenlong. He didn't bother wasting his brain on this matter. After obtaining the ingredients, he directly rented the highest level alchemy room within Yu Prefecture City and started refining pills. When Long Chen consumed a full hundred thousand violet flame pills, his Feng Fu star was completely covered by a violet veil. In the end, this veil suddenly shattered. And when the Feng Fu star reappeared, it was a violet star. As the Feng Fu star slowly circulated, Violet Kai came out, looking like an illusion. This Violet Kai slowly circulated throughout Long Chen's one hundred eight thousand stars. Now, even his 108,000 stars became covered in violet spots. Suddenly, Long Chen's divine ring appeared. The six-colored divine ring now had a faint violet light around it. At that moment, Long Chen felt like a door inside his body had been opened.